Hi. I don't know if there's anybody out there yet. Um, but I'm on a half an hour early because I have to pick my daughter up from school. But um, let me see. It says there's a couple people here. Hope everybody's doing well. Whoever's out there, say hello. <laughs> I am a little bit early. I was supposed to come on at noon, but I'm on at 11.30. This is going to predominantly be a, a buy it now. I may, uh, I do have some auction items, like I have Monet and some rhinestone lots that I put together. Um, those will be auctioned. And um, some pins. But there's a lot of uh, bulk together that are just buy it nows as well. It's predominantly going to be buy it nows. Then I have some stuff back here that I'm going to offer. There's some purses. Some of them are really big. It may be hard. Um, hi, Mary Bill. Are you new? Hello. Thank you for for joining me. Um, and I have some knickknacks, some like collectibles as well that I pulled out that I'll show. But hi, Becky. Oh, oh, hi. I'm glad you can make it. Thank you for coming. Um, like I was saying, this is going to predominantly be a, um, I have a lot of jewelry. I put together oh, a lot of lots. See that? A few of them will be auctioned. Um, hi, Deb, and hi, hi to floor. Most of these will be buy it now, but there's a few that I have auctioned. Like I have a nice Monet um, jewelry here that I'm going to start at a, an auction just in case more than one person wants. It's going to start low. It's it's worth it. It's all vintage um, Monet in there. And then some rhinestones. But I'll get started in a minute here. I'll wait just a few minutes. I'm early. People probably may not realize that I'm even on. Hopefully that's not the case. I was supposed to come on at noon, but I'm starting a little bit early. Um, hi, Patabelle. But it will be like, um, I'll just give a price and then you uh, say you put the price in. I don't do the one thing just because I've had issues in the, in the past in my chat. That's why I do it. I say the price and you say the price. But um, I have a tray over here too. Then I do have some things in there. I'll get started in just a minute. So how's everybody doing? I probably should have waited till noon to come on. I don't know how this is going to go. Plus there's another group of people auctioning at the same time over... Um, I'm not going to mention where because it doesn't really matter. There's a whole group of people auctioning somewhere else. So I don't know how it's going to go. We'll see. I'm not auctioning, though. I have a few items that are auctioned. I'm just going to go buy it now, and I'm going to do it as quickly as possible like I typically do. I did want to go camera down, but I can't really show some of the items back there as easily, like the scarves that I have. If I'm camera down, it's harder. So that's why I, um, I am camera up here. But I did get myself a new uh, a tiny... Um, you know, uh, tripod to use. But anyways, um, I'll get started in a minute. It doesn't matter how many people are in the chat here. Um, they would get notifications, but like I said, I did come in a, on a whole entire half hour early. <laughs> and I had said I was coming on at noon for almost a week when I scheduled it. So it may take a while for people to get here. But all right. You guys know the, how it goes. Like, I, I, I reckon everybody that Mirabel, if you want to buy or anybody else that's in here that's new, if they want to purchase, you would just email me at that email, the vintage jewelry galore at yahoo.com with your, um, hi, Lori. I just need your um, PayPal email address, your YouTube name and the country in which you, um, you live. And shipping is typically five dollars unless it's nearing or over a pound that's within the united states and it may be a little bit more um but it wouldn't go over eight dollars definitely although if i sell any of the purses i have back here like the big ones i don't know how much it is to ship them i've never done it but i have a nice michael kors and this over here is a kate spade they're both in brand new shape the kate spade's definitely new then i have some smaller purses under there and i do have a few scarves but um didn't have as many as I thought I had. And after I looked through them, I saw some issues with them. You know how that is when you buy things or you have them for a while. Besides, you don't want to um, sell them. 
but yeah, Maribel, if you decide to purchase, you can just email me then. Um, or you could do it now if you want to do it ahead of time. So I'm starting to get a few more people here. Um, this is something like an inventory. I'm doing an inventory clear out thing. Hi, Tracy. I do this like at the end of the month usually. Um, and the, like I, I will put together lots. Like this is a cloisonne A lot. And just sell like a bulk of jewelry that I have. Um, that's, you know, how I'm doing it at this point. And that's always the last Friday. If it's not a clear out, it'll be a variety sale. But it usually is like I put a lot of lots together and sell them. That's what I plan on doing. Just the last Friday, I'm going like in diagonal with the sales. All right, I'm going to get started. I mean, if I am early and I have some people here, I may as well get started, see if anybody's interested um, in some of the things I have here. Um, all right, so I'll start off with this. Does anybody have any questions? Hi, hi, uh, hi, Sarsar. Before I get started, are there any questions? I guess that's a way to kill some time here. I'm on a little early than what I planned. I showed this um, on um, not long ago. It's it's really adorable. I'm gonna offer it very um, low price here today. It's it's cute. This is glass. You have like some art glass there, and those are glass balls as well. They're not acrylic. These are wire earrings, and you have on the back that is a tiny. This is a tiny ladybug hanging off of the end. Yeah, right there on the end. That's a little, let me see. I can't even show it. It's hard. Okay. That's a little ladybug hanging there. And it's a toggle clasp. And these are glass. Glass earrings, um, like art beads, glass necklace. If anybody wants this, I, I will sell this for 10. You can just put 10 in the chat if you're interested in this. A pair of square earrings and a glass art glass necklace with um with a toggle clasp in the back for ten dollars i think it's pretty just the glass with the he had the art glass i know i just showed this i do have jewelry uh you've never seen before as well it's where i'd start off with this see if anybody was interested Thank you for coming, everybody. I appreciate it. All right, I'll wait just another minute. I don't want to move too fast. Um, I'm going to use my little timer. <laughs> so, I pace myself. Can you hear me okay and everything? I do have the microphone on. Sometimes it acts. They have to. All right. All right. I'm going to pass on this then. It's pretty. I think it is. one. It's glass, um, art glass pieces there um, with glass beads. It's all glass, actually. All right. I'll put that aside, though. I'm going to start off with a little lot. Um, it'll just be a buy it now. When I have a cloisonne. Hi, hi, Melissa. I don't know if you're new or not. Um, if you are, you can register with me by emailing me there. Um, I don't remember your name. If you want to purchase anything, you don't have to register unless you're going to purchase. And I just need your PayPal email address, your YouTube name, and the country in which you live. Just so I know how to do the shipping. Hi, Brenda. Hi. So this is a little cloisonne lot that I put together. Um, what I have in my inventory. Let me show you. This is a, you know. It's a, it's material of some sort. And you have this little piece on the end. So there's a necklace, it's vintage. It has a spring ring clasp. There's the necklace. And this bracelet has a gold filled um, spring ring on the end. And that's an average size, like seven inches. I guess I can measure it real quick. The necklace is doubled up. I'll show that again. So if, I think I have four pieces to this. Um, 
So it's seven inches. I was correct. I remembered from the last time. That's what the bracelet looks like. It's cloisonne, different colors, gold filled clasp. I don't know about the rest of it, if it's gold filled or not. This is like an 18 inch necklace, it looks like to me. I guess I'd have to. It's 20 inches on the necklace. So there's the necklace. The bracelet, and then I have a pair of pierced earrings that are wired earrings as well. There's those. There's the front and the back. And they have this clip. It has a little imperfection back there that would be hidden. It's this in the front. This is a cloisonne lot. If anybody is interested in this, I'll do it for 18. You get four pieces. You get the necklace this design on it. You would put 18 if you're interested. The necklace, the scarf, this looks like a scarf clip to me or an enhancer. So it opens up and you can put it around the necklace. Then you have the bracelet like I just showed. And you have the earrings as well. That's, they both have this on that side. I just have one turned each way. It's a cloisonne lot for 18 if anybody's interested. On my necklace or, oh, on the necklace. Um, there's two birds and two birds and a flower. Yes, I'm sorry. Brenda, you want this? Brenda, yeah, that, I know you, Brenda. Okay. All right, thank you. Yeah, that was a flower. I'm sorry if I didn't show it close enough. Um. I think the light, like, blinks. That's why being camera down is nice, but I can't show everything that way. Um, I need to get back to where I have more room. Hi, Lizzie. It's nice to see you, too. Thank you for coming. Um, I need to get a bigger, like, device that I can put camera down so I can show things better. All right. So, I'll do, that's the first slot. I'm going to pull more out. I mean, so, I'll go through some lots, then I'll get back into other jewelry. Let me see, because I picked a number of them out. I have, I have these three pins. These are nice. Let me show these. Um, brooches, pins. This is a no name. It's really lovely. It's like two inches. It's beautiful. Gold tone. Looks gold plated, actually. Um, doesn't say that, though. It doesn't always say it. There's the back. So we have, um, a bird. Yeah, thank you. Congratulations, Brenda. Thank you. A soaring bird. I don't know what kind. <laughs> and then I have a hummingbird. This is an Avon. This is a vintage Avon. It's it's really cute. Um, it has a red eye and he's eating out of a flower. So you have these two. And then I have this lovely Liz Claiborne mother of pearl bird. So it's three pins. The soaring bird, the gold, gold plated, no, sorry, it's so hard. Oh, oh my, this one. <laughs> gold plated um, soaring bird, the mother of pearl dove, this is Liz Claiborne. And then I have the humming, the Avon hummingbird as well with the red eye. And this is pinched metal. Um, yeah, those look like Marcus sites, but they are not. But all three of them I would do for $18 if anybody's interested in these. Get the three birds. No, oh, it's upside down. Okay. Hummingbird with the red eye. Eating out of a flower. The soaring bird with the pave style rhinestones in one wing. And none of them are missing. It's not scratched. These are in these are in perfect condition. They're not falling apart or anything. Hello, Mary Ray. I'm sorry. I was supposed to be on at noon. And then this, uh, the mother of Pearl was Claiborne. So the three for 18, if anybody's interested. You put 18 in the chat. And I'm covering the one. I'm trying. I need a better display model here, I feel like. This one's very nice though. It looks like it's a mother of pearl that has like that crack. They, they deliberately did that on it. Appearance. It's pretty. It's a vintage Liz Claiborne. So that would be six for each brooch. They're all 
nice brooches, pins. I was doing all three for 18. I think they're worth more than that each, honestly. These are like, you want this one? $10? I was doing them trying to do like a, a deal three for 18, but they're worth more than that a piece. I, I know that. Um, but if you want just, if nobody else is interested and you want just, you want this one, Liz Claiborne, you want Mary? Or this one? I think they're both dolls, aren't they? Or am I wrong? Or is this a seagull? I don't know. Let's not get technical with it. Is this the one you want? If you want it, are you okay with 10 for it? I was doing it like a trio deal. You know how you do that. 10 each or all three for 18. <laughs> that sounds funny. Um, are you okay with that? Is this the one, though? The, the Liz Claiborne, lovely. It's very pretty. Okay, yeah, nobody else was interested, so that's fine. Hi, Heather. Oh, hi. Thank you for coming, Heather. Um, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. And if you decide you want to buy, you can email me there at VintageJewelryGloryYahoo.com. If you're not going to purchase, though, don't, don't worry about it. You don't have to. All right. So, yeah, Mary, you can have this one for 10 Thank you. Is anybody else interested in any of the other ones for 10 If not, I'll just put them aside. Um, so this is the dove. Thank you. Yeah, I am. Um, yeah, if I don't sell a lot and somebody sees something they want in it, don't, don't hesitate to ask me because I'm fine with it. These ones I will set aside for now. And then we'll come back out later. Um, all right, next I will pull out. I have some earrings, a lot of. Well, let me see. I haven't sold anything. Let me show this. I showed this before. But I tried selling it for a lot more, and I decided to drop the price on it, so I'll show it again. See if anybody's interested. Um, this is glass. I mean, I'm trying to find the clasp. Here it is. You guys probably remember this, but anyways, it's this. It's a necklace. You have the necklace. It's all glass. There's no stones on it. Um, thank you for stopping by. That's Heather. Okay. And there's a bracelet. This is a stretch bracelet, but it's very nice. Um, I mean, stretches are fine, right? As long as the stretch works. And this one's intact. And then there's a pair of earrings that are very lovely. Um, these are like a three-inch drop pair. And the necklace, I believe, is like, um, I'll measure it's like 18 inches, as I recall, or what it looks like to me, but it's 20 inches. So for the three of these, if anybody's interested in a necklace, bracelet, and earrings, I'll do them for 15. You just put 15 in the chat. It's a very nice set. I guess I could hang the necklace off. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like banging this over the place. I need more than two hands. That's why with the camera down, thank you, Heather. It's nice with the camera down because, um, then you can just, uh, don't have to hold your hands there. I have to get this system back together to where I, I can do it comfortably. All right, I'm going to pass on this. I ain't seeing the interest. If anybody decides they want it, 15 bucks, you can, they can let me know. All right, let me find another one. I have some earrings here. I think I have five or six pairs. These are all costume earrings. I think they're nice, though. Um, these are posts. Yeah, they're nice. They're nice. These, um, the leaves are very pretty, too. 
I don't know what type of glass to call it. I'm just calling it glass. I think it's just glass with a coating over it. To me, I have these earrings. Here's the back. They're pretty well made. These are all cost costume. There's one. These are like two inch earring. Then there's these are Chico's, and that's faux turquoise in here. But on this one, you have a, like a left and right earring. Um, those are faux stones. They're not real. They are Chico's, though. They're like a with like a C or three quarter of a hoop. That's two pairs of earrings. These are lightweight, lightweight enough to wear. How big they are. Um, rhinestones and silver tone. In here, flowers. There's the back. They're nice and they, they're not heavy. So there's those. It's three pairs. A pair of fish. These are cool. These are pear snarings. They're all pears tear. The little fishies. These have no name on them. They're cute though. There's the fish. So it's four pairs of earrings. Then you have these ones that are shaped like a diamond. They're pierced as well, like a lever back on the back. And like glittery. So that's five pairs of earrings. And there's a pair of nice glittery. These are lever back pierced as well. And silver tone pair of earrings. These ones are nice. And they're not extremely heavy. These could be handled in air. And then we have these. I'm not going to measure them all. You guys can see them. So that's one pair of earrings. One, two, nice hoops. These ones I think are cool. I like them. These are um, a diamond pair of lever back. It's three pairs of earrings. I'll get that. <laughs> it's just a silver tone. Nothing happened to it. And then there's the Chico's. Number four. The fish are really cute, I think. I like them. They're Paris Post. And then these flowers are pretty lightweight, but I think they're they're cool. Nice. I like the way they're designed. Five. And then you have six. I like these ones the best myself. Kind of look. They're nice. So there are the six pairs of earrings, silver tone. They're costume, but they're they're nice costume. I'll do all six of them if anybody's interested for 18. You would put 18 down in the chat if you're interested. And let me find that earring. See, it was this one. So the six pairs of silver tone for 18. That's three dollars a pair. Of earrings. There they are. I wish I could uh, lay them down and show them longer. You collect fish theme. Brenda, you want them? Thank you. So 18 for the. I probably have other fishies around. Um, okay, so Brenda M. Thank you, Brenda. All right, I'll put it if you're closing it. All right, those are cool. How about I show, should I, I don't know. I don't know if anyone's going to really want the purses that I have. How many people are here? Um, enough. These are big. Is anybody like, would anybody be interested in a big brand new Kate Spade? This is Kate Spade New York quilted leather with a chain on it. Leather, it's leather. Um, it has, um. It has the original card in it, um, saying, explain, like, you know, talking about Kate Spade, New York, and how to, like, the information about how the weather and so forth in there. That's in there. I have some paper in here, you know, because you do that when you're keeping a purse, just to make sure it's okay. It doesn't get too flattened out. But this is in brand new condition. Let me show you. I don't know how much this would be to ship. Um... I guess you can do it a medium flat rate or something, whatever that costs. I would think that would work. Wouldn't want to beat it up or anything, getting it mailed. You know what I mean by that? Like bent it out of shape, but there's, it's clean. There's no, nothing. There's pockets inside, pocket for a cell phone. Two pockets here. 
Then you have an inside pocket. It zippers closed. And here you have another zip pocket in here. And there's a front part that I just showed you. So this is Kate Spade, and it is big. I mean, I'm small. You know, I'm five foot, but I'm not thin. <laughs> but it's not a huge, huge purse is what I'm saying. Um, but anyways... I've priced them. I'm not going to say what they're worth. You guys probably have an idea. I don't like doing that. I think it's tacky when people do that. So, um, anyways, for this purse, if anybody would want this purse, I did starting. I'm going to auction it just in case there's more than one person. Maybe there's nobody. I don't know, but we'll see. I, I think I like it, but I haven't used it. It's brand new, and I never used it. So I'd start it at $50 if anybody was interested in a big Kate Spade. I would auction this one if any if there's any interest. It's very, it's nice if you like this. I do like big purses, but I never use this one. If not, I'll wait a minute. If not, no big deal. I need to put it online. Sarsar's Sar's in at 50. It's worth that. Thank you. Is anybody else interested? It's a nice purse. And I love the smell of leather. I do. I have leather, a lot of leather. I used to wear leather skirts and pants when I was a young, thin, attractive woman. <laughs> Not anymore. But I do still love the purses and coats and boots. Who doesn't, right? All right. I'll wait just a minute for nobody else. I'll be happy to give us to you for 50. It's very nice, actually. You're going to like it. The chain doesn't come off, but you can throw it inside and carry it by the short handles. If you want to do it that way, like a tote, it's big enough to fit a computer in if you want it. <laughs> a small one. All right. I don't see any other interest, so I'm just going to call it down real quick like there. Um, all right. Five, four, three, two. Fair warning and sold to Sarsar. Thank you. It's nice. It's a nice purse. I mean, put the stuffing back in it. And then I'll let you know what the shipping is. Like I said, I think it should fit in a medium, um, like flat rate or something like that. I don't want to bend it up, but for that price, even if it's 20 bucks in shipping, it's it's worth it, you know. It's a good purse. Um, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I've had it for a little while. Never used it. I thought I would. You know how that is. Hi, Irene. I didn't see either. Um, Kate Spade. I have a really nice Michael Kors one over there. All right, so I will put this in a safe location over here in the box. <laughs> so nothing happens to it. Oh, okay. This, I have this. Let me show this next. I'm not going to put it on. Hi, Dawn. Hi. I don't know if I've seen you before, but thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. I'll have to go check Dawn's channel out if I haven't seen your channel. Go over there and look. This is a this is nice. This is a Michael Kors belt. It's brand new condition. And it's nice. I'm not gonna put it on because you know I'm in the middle of losing weight. I'm not thin enough that I want to be strutting about, but if I was, I would <laughs> look at it. That's the end. And it says Michael Kors. And I did price this as well before I put a price on what I'm gonna ask for it. It's very nice. It's in brand new condition. And let me measure it for you because I know there are you know, people need to know their waist size um, of what they can do. It's it does fit me, and I'm not thin. Um, but I like I said, I'm not in a, a belt type in the belt phase of my life right now. Maybe twenty pounds. <laughs> I want to wear one, but it's not it's not very real small. It's like forty inches in length on this one, so it would fit you know somebody. You figure that out. It's 40 inches from end to end, not including this. I left this off. Okay. But yeah, this is a Michael Kors. Nice heavyweight gold tone belt. Very nice. If anybody wants this, I will sell it for 30. You would put three zero in the chat. Just the three zero if you're interested. I'm let it go for that. It's worth that. Here's what the links look like. Sorry, I'm trying not to, like, bang it off the keyboard. It's a nice belt. Michael Kors heavyweight, semi-heavyweight belt. Gold tone. I don't know exactly what you call it. <laughs> it is a belt. It 
it's marked MK there. Michael Kors and that's it. All right. Hi, Christina. I'll just hold it here. I probably should be typing my prices in like other people do, but I, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I just don't. I find it to be hard with the phone down here. I, I, hold on. What is that? I'm sorry. I got to look at this real quick. You want the belt too? All right. Thank you. It's nice. It's a nice belt. Um, it's worth, you know, you know, I don't need to tell you that, you know, what it's worth. Here you want to buy it. I don't know exactly what it's worth, but I know it's worth 30. Try to put everything, um, Hi, Dusty. Well, under, um, yeah, I came on a little bit early. I'm sorry. I just wanted to make sure I could get it through everything. Um, before I had to go get my daughter, you know, she's, um, we're going visiting the baby and, um, and Leo today. Um, I hurt my daughter. So, all right, I'm going to take a break from that. And hi, hi, Laura. Hi. It's nice to see you. Okay, and Dawn Chan, I've probably been on your channel. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, I think I recall, I re remember you now. Does anybody like shell? I have a number of shell necklaces here that I am going to sell together. I'm not auctioning these. Thank you, Sar Sar. If I didn't say that. I know I move fast, but I have a lot of stuff to get to, so <laughs> this is pearls and this isn't quite shell, okay. This is pearls in, I, I don't know, that's some kind of stone on there, I think, but I include it in there. It's freshwater pearls, double strand. It's one. I did not test the content here, if you want to look at it. There's that necklace. And this is shell. I was thinking that was dyed coral, but it's awfully late for that. I don't know, could be. Let me give you a look at it. And that's definitely like a mother of pearl shell down here. It could all be mother of pearl, just some dyed. So you have those two necklaces. And there's more. There's this. This is definitely shell like. Look at it. Hi, Heather. So there's those three. And then I have this big mother pearly uh, stretchy bracelet hair. Look, it's pretty. There's the big stretch bracelet. So there's the bracelet. And then I have a shell. Just a shell necklace and bracelet. Okay. So there's these four pieces hair, the pearls and some type of stone there. I don't know, maybe Larimar or something. Okay, Dawn, thank you. So I have these necklaces, um, that and a bracelet. I mean, this is a necklace and bracelet. I'm just trying to let you see what it looks like. This bracelet, this necklace, let me let you look at it so you can get your assessment of what's in there. I think it's dyed like mother of pearl shelly type thing in that and then this so you have one two three and then this necklace four with the pearls and that stone four necklaces two bracelets i'll do these for 20. um it could be robin i don't know <laughs> i said it looked like coral to me but i wasn't sure so 20 bucks if you want it, though. Take a chance on it. What do you think? It could be. It's on with this. And I didn't test the um, content. It's it's feral class. I don't think it's still sterling or anything. But I thought it looked like it because of this type of thing in there. But that's okay. They've been hanging around a long time. And they're 20 bucks if anybody wants them. Okay, Robin, thank you. And congratulations. And if it is... Let me know if I, th I thought it was, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm 
It says an inventory, Claro. <laughs> I got your things and I pull them out. Okay, I see Robin first. Thank you. It's kind of heavy. It shouldn't be more than the uh, than the amount the um, the normal shipping that I charge, but it is kind of heavy because it's all that. It wouldn't be much more. You know, it tops off at like eight dollars or something. So, all right, there you go. Thank you. I don't know why I showed you that, but there it is. Twenty bucks. I think that is Carl, to be honest. Yeah. Um, but I didn't care. I was just sewing it. Um, <laughs> I have this copper necklace that I showed last week, um, one day this week, and I just decided to bring it back cheaper because why not? This is copper. Um, I'll give you guys a price in a minute. Let me measure it in case you're particular about. Yeah, congratulations, and th thank you. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. This is 15 inches from end to end. So it's a nice little copper necklace. Let me stick it on the thing. I dipped it and I cleaned it with ketchup. It was filthy when I showed it. And here we go. So this is copper. It does not have a name on it, but it has one of these little hooky clasps back there. And here's the back of it. If anybody wants the copper necklace, I'll do this for uh, fifteen dollars. It's a dollar an inch. I cleaned up well when I put it in the ketchup. I've never cleaned with ketchup before, but I, I listened to what people. Somebody was saying I dip it in ketchup. I can't remember exactly who it was. I, was, I tried it and it worked. You want the copper? Okay, put the price in, put the 20 in for now. I didn't say that, but okay, whatever. I guess I don't have to be anal about that either. I haven't had anybody in my chat that's been uh, just putting one before they hear the price any longer. That did happen to me for a short period of time, though, but here we go. Okay, yes, Becky, it's yours, 15 bucks. Thank you. Well, I said 15, I almost wrote 20. Oh, I did say 20. Did I say 20 or 15, guys? I, I want to be honest there. Was it 20 or 15? I had it written up as 20, but I thought I said less. Um, if somebody wants to spit out what I said, I'd appreciate it. I don't want to go against what I said um, originally. That's thing. I'll try to stay consistent with that. It. It's very nice. Yeah, I sold it much cheaper than when I offered it the first time because I figured, why not? Can't eat it. <laughs> okay, 20 is good. It's worth it. Thank you. And you can't eat jewelry as Dawn had. You can't eat jewelry. It's completely true. Yeah, that one sale that she had that came home to me. Um, <laughs> all right. Oh, I have this. Okay, 15. Okay, let me change that to 15 then. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I want to I wanna be right on with what I said it is. Okay, so 15 for copper, Becky. Thank you. Good, guys. Thanks. That's what I thought. Um, I just, did I stick a, hey, I thought I pulled something else out. All right, I have a lot of lots, so let's show more. Sarah Coventry. Okay, it was 15 That's what I thought. Yeah, $1 an inch. Thank you, Patty. Well, that's correct. That's a good way to remember because I did say that. All right, thank you. I may have said the second time by accident, uh, mistakenly just put the 20 in the chat or something. That's probably what happened. But this is a Sarah Coventry lot. Now, the highlight of this one is this necklace. This is fantastic for... Not to say for Sarah Coventry, because they've been around a while, and they do have some great jewelry. I have some silver rings with uh, that are lovely. Actually, bought them off of Gina, and one was gifted. But um, it's a spring ring. It's a Sarah Cov. I think it says, or just Sarah. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's long and lovely. I'll measure it for you. This is what it looks like. Like you have these. Nice filigree type of um, rings, and then these pearls on there, faux pearls. I'm going to measure it. Yeah, I've, I've, I've rebuilt a stand for my daughter's room yesterday. Found manly. No, I'm joking. I did. I built a stand, and I fixed her jewelry up, and I was looking at it, and the kid has an insane amount of jewelry. This is 52 inches. This is a nice necklace. This is the highlight of the Sarah Cove. Like I said, in the little lot that I'm doing, I have five or six pieces. Okay, so there's this lovely necklace. It's all doubled, tripled, four times stuff. There, it's 52 inches. 
And then I have these earrings are quite lovely as well. I have these. These are nice. These are Sarah Coventry as well. These are clips and they're nice. You see you have like a brush, a, like a, um, a textured silver tone on there and then shiny gold and they're nice. So there's these earrings, Sarah Cove earrings. Then I have a Sarah Cove little link bracelet with a fold over clasp that has like the textured metal as well. I guess I should give you a measurement on this in case you're buying it to wear or something. Let me do that real quick. If I can get it open. I have fear and I'll just pop right off. This is seven inches, okay? Yeah, I think jewelry makes a lot of people are, uh, happy. I find this state sale to go to tomorrow. I'm going to be going to an state sale to try to get some different things. And then there's a D. This is a Sarah Coventry D pin as well. And a little pair of faux pearl clips earrings of Saracol. These are vintage Saracol. I think it always actually. Um, I don't know about the D pin, but everything else looks vintage to me. And then there's this. I don't. This is a Sarah Coventry too. I don't even know what that is, but it's part of the lot. And um, let me show it to you better. I know that wasn't a good picture of it. Just let me measure it real quick. This is 16 inches. So I've got two necklaces, a gold tone 16 inch vintage Saracol with that little like tied up knot. This very lovely long silver tone faux pearl Sarah Coventry with the um, little like filigree boxes in there. And then the D pin, the bracelet, and the two pairs of earrings. One a little faux like mauve pearl, like a cap pearl or whatever you want to call that, and then these. So if anybody's interested in this, it's 20 bucks. Just put 20 in the chat. You get one, two, three, four, six pieces of Sarah Cobb jewelry vintage. This necklace is worth that, I think. It's a nice necklace to layer or put on with other things. But I went through to Sarah Coventry, and I had, this is what I had <laughs> for the most part. I still have a little bit more. But if anybody's interested, you just put that in the chat. I'm sorry. Uh, camera down is better in the degree that you can keep showing things. Now I just have this lot sitting here in my hand and can't really show you what it is again. It's hard. You need a better setup, especially for these days. All right. I'll hold this here for a minute. I have a message. I can't go on and read it. It's too hard. Let me see if my, I'm waiting for my daughter to say something but she didn't all right i'm gonna pass on this i don't see any interest in the sarah call let me put it back that's fine i could i'll put that one online at that it should sell in two minutes all right um fine i gotta get better at putting online okay let me go to something else i'm hopping around <laughs> hopping around i'm way on around here i do have scarves in here nothing exceptionally well hey does anybody like red rose tea does anybody collect these i have 40 red rose tea some are duplicates but most are not and i have like series one through five or something like not the complete set but there's like the clown and the endangered species um i have some of the circus i don't know if anybody would be interested in this but there's 40 pieces this is some i said i know some collectibles there's <laughs> like 40 pieces here of different types of animals. Turtle. I'll just show some of them that will offer a price. And, or, if, you know, why not? Somebody might like them. Hi, Miss Koja. That's an endangered species. It's a humpback whale, I think. Whatever. There's just a lot of them. There's 40 of these fellas. There's at least 30 different kinds. Okay. There's some duplicates, like I said. Some of them have Made in England written right on them. I don't know if anybody collects Red Rose. Um, I know that people do. But they go typically around $5 a piece, some more. This is adorable. And it says Made in England on it. The kitty cat is adorable. 
It's not jewelry, but I did say I'd bring some collectibles. And some people buy this. So if not, I'll just pass her right on it, but I'm going to put a price on it. This is cute too. It's circus beer. This the, the circus set is considered rare. I even I have the clown to the circus too. And I have like um this things from the circus and I have a tiger in the lion. But anyways, 40 red rose, kind of heavy, probably will shift for the medium size flat rate box price, which I can't remember what that is on the top of my head. But if anybody wants the red rose 40 pieces, yes. You have it, Lizzie? Yes, that's right. Wade Whimsies, correct. Um, thank you for that because I forgot to mention it. But they say made they were made in England and Canada, I think. But if anybody wants all 40 of these little things, most are different. There are some doubles, like I, I just say in 30 individuals, there could be more. But there's 40 total. I did count them. And they're from like series one to five, I believe. Um I don't know how much money you can get to them. I was looking and I, I read like five each. It could be less. I'm not going to put a price on what I think they're worth because I have no idea. I've just been holding them for a long time and I I don't need them. So if anybody wants these, they can have all of them for $30, but it may cost 15 to ship them. I don't know if I have any collectors. This may be the wrong place. Maybe this is something for eBay. <laughs> I fair it off them. There's a lot of them in there. Lots of different types. They even have the polar bear, and he's a little rare. But maybe I'll want if they just put 30 down there. If not, no big deal. I will um I do need to get more stuff on eBay. I do have more jewelry, lots more, but I was showing some other things too. That's why I pulled the red rose eye. You never know. <laughs> this is a jewelry channel though, kind of funny, huh? This is cool. It's malachite, hard malachite. This says alpaca Mexico. It's a little spoon. See what it has on it? Then right there it says alpaca Mexico, and he's a little malachite piece. This I'll do for 20 if anybody wants the little spoon. It's like five inches. It's cool. That's a man. Little me and Carther. You can see his face. I'll get back to jewelry in a second. I just wanted to show this. Um, just see if anybody wanted it because I said I would show knickknacks. Well, collectibles. Tracy, you want this? This is cool. Thank you. Yeah, they're cool. I don't know, maybe I'll pick some out and give them to Eva. That's true, like the cats and dogs and stuff. She, well, she's a little older, but she might like them. And then she does collect things. She, she's somewhat of a, um, she likes to collect. But thank you, Tracy. And maybe that could be a goal of hers to find the rest of them. I might put the circus set together and stuff. Okay, Malachite Spoon, I'll call this for Tracy. It's cool. He laid on my stand for a while. It's pretty cool. That's nice, Lizzie. The cat's adorable in that set. You probably have the cat. Oh, my God, I don't have any staples left. Oh, I'm throwing them in here. Um, I'll figure it out. I'll just have to look. Okay. I don't know. Maybe should I get back? What about her? Isn't she pretty? She's engraved CF on the bottom. And this a test is jade on my gem tester. I don't know if there's filler in it. I mean, it looks like Nefrit Jade, right? Um, she's pretty, she's five inches. She's holding a sunflower. Lovely little carved lady. What did I say I wanted to do her for? Oh, um, do her for. So, sell her for. You have two of the cats. The cats are adorable. That was my favorite one when I was looking through it last night. I was like, wow, that's really cute. This one, if anybody wants this lovely lady, I, I would... $30 if you're interested. She's carved. Her hair's up in a bun like mine. No, mine's in a sloppy ponytail right now. I wanted to go camera down and couldn't figure it out how to do it and show the purses, so I didn't. But she's a lovely, she's carved. There's a, like a flower or something carved on her dress there. She's Asian lady. 
Where's her hand? Where's the other hand down there? All right, I'm going to pass on that. I'm going to get out of this stuff now. I sold the spoon. I don't know. I do have a little cap box. I'm going to try to sell that and this and the rest of them probably. Uh, Tracy, you want that as well? Okay, good. It, it's really, let me wrap her up nicely. So I'm going to put her sec. Well, yeah, I'll put her in this Velcro bag just to even put her in your bag. Okay, thank you. She's nice. I liked her. I had her on my stand over by my chair, but I decided I didn't need her. She's, she is lovely, though. She's very nice. Hi, Kathy. I don't know. Are you new here? But hello. Thank you for coming. Okay. I'm going to put that in your bag with the spoon and all the stuff. Right there. I'm going to move this stuff back over. Um, I'll get back to jewelry, guys. But thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. And thank you. I'll stop with the uh, little knickknacks for the time being to pull you guys some jewelry out. Um, okay, everybody. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. It's starting to, this is just like about the time I should have come. I come on extremely early. Oh, you're saying now stop. I'm not going to show any more knickknacks. I do have jewelry though. Oh, um, <laughs> this is nice. Let me show this. This is rhinestones. I'm calling it the blues. Um, it is all blue rhinestones. That's why it's called the blues. And I'll auction this one because I, I don't know, just auction a couple of things. I think it's okay. Um, even if I don't get any other bids on it. This is lovely. Look. Wait. Um, I'm having trouble. All right. That's what it looks like. Hold on. Let me show it to you on here. This is a vintage, um, blue it's like a sky blue rhinestones. Look. There's that. It's fully pronged. That's in the set that I put together. There's this. Let me measure it. Um, I'm going to measure it from here. This is its potential. You can make it as short as you want. Hi, Robin. It is a 16 inch drop on this. Um, And you saw how it fit me. It fits decent length. You know what I mean? It's not choking gear or anything at 16 inches. Is that? I have this as a sweater, like clip, I guess. Um, it is the same. It's uh, fully pronged. It is the same color, basically, of those rhinestones. So it's like five inches. It has these clips on it. Look like. So there's that. There's the necklace. And I have a few other things. There is this lovely pin. It is blue and clear rhinestones. A clear rhinestone in the middle. That's all it has on it, Irene. Um, it, it's good. It, that's what it looks like back there. I don't know if you can add an extender to that. I'm not sure, but. It's lovely, though. It's a very nice, nice, nice necklace. It's vintage, and it's fully pronged. The small and the large are pronged. And they're circles, um, but they're, di they're different sizes. Okay, sorry. And I, I have this, and then I have this pin that is a clear rhinestone in the middle, and then this lovely blue surrounding. Um, they are not fully, well, they are pronged, actually, but not as deep. You know how some... Probably a little more modern in the necklace. I don't know, honestly. <laughs> These are nice. They're, they're, here's the clip. These are vintage. It's all vintage. I guess I don't need to keep saying that. Um, They're clips. There's the front. These match that pin, the color at least. I don't think they came together. They're shaped differently, but I have these earrings in there as well. These are fully pronged. The blues on there. So there's those earrings, a pin. Then I have these little earrings as well. These are post, Paris post. You could use a sweater clip as an extender maybe. Yeah, it matches well enough and it would be behind your neck. Um, yeah, look, they're pretty close in color. Like almost exact. That's, I'll let you know everyone. Let me get through the last item. And then I have these little blue, these need clean. I did not clean these. These are vintage screw back. Um, ooh. Little hearts. Okay, heart earrings. The post. 
uh, dangle blue and clear rhinestone earrings. Then these two, like I said, are very close in color. This is a pin in an ivory pair of clip earrings, vintage clip earrings. The sweater clip and the necklace. This is, I'm, I'm going to auction this just in case I have more than some things I'm auctioning. I'll start the auction at 25 on these. I think it's worth that. You get a sweater clip and this lovely necklace. And the prices vary on the buy it now. I mean, I'm I, they're all low, though, I think. Um, so you get the sweater clip, the necklace. And the one pin and then three pairs of earrings. I'll just make it a buy it now, actually, for 25 if anybody's interested. There's no need to really auction this now that I think about it. Um, I mean, not for me. <laughs> so it would be a 25 um, buy it now for the necklace, sweater clip, and a pin and three pairs of earrings. The necklace itself is worth that if it fits. I mean, I know there's a thing some people may not fit. Let me show you the back of it as well. The necklace um, is lovely, and it's definitely vintage. All right, Robin, thank you. It's nice. Yeah, I um, I don't know if auctioning something like I mean, you could, but why? The necklace is worth that. <laughs> the necklace is really lovely. I tried holding it until I found a pair of earrings to match it and then sew it together, but it wasn't happening, so I decided I would just offer it today. But the sweater clip does match it. You can use an X extender, like I said. I don't know if you can wear them. I guess you could wear them both at the same time. It would depend on um, what you were doing. But thank you. Let me make sure I get everything in there. You already have a bag, actually, right? I run out of staples, family staples. <clears throat> All right, thinking of getting uh, little trays like Thelma uses me or something like that, and not sticking things over to the side. All right, there's that. Let me see. I have a Monet lot, but let me do something singular first. This is nice. This is very nice, actually. And this is Liz Claiborne. I know Liz Claiborne doesn't get the best name, but look, it's enamel. This is vintage Liz Claiborne. There's the backing. See the shininess of like thick luster of that back there. And you have enamel. This is probably a three and a half inch pin. I'll measure it for you in a minute. Enamel rhinestones and a glossy. It looks like a, it's like a loose sight in the center, the flower. The way it's shining. Um, so this is actually, it's a four inch pin going across and this is how big it is. Look how big that is. It's big. It's nice. I'll do this for 18 if anybody wants it. It's a lovely pin, no matter who made it. You have rhinestones on the, um, like in hair as well. And none of them are missing. You know what I mean? Like right here. It's in good shape. Here's the back of it. I already showed you the back, right? See, it's like made. They're connected together. The flower is separate, you know, attached with this piece in the back. The, the ribbon, I guess you call it. I mean, my red jewelry. Um, all right, I'll hold this just here for a minute, and then I'll pass on if nobody's interested. But 18, if anybody is. All right. I'm going to pass on if anybody jumps in. I don't know. Hopefully, I'm not moving too fast. I know there's a, a lag, but I I mean, it's not Sarah Coventry. They call it that. It's Liz Claiborne. Same. I mean, not the same thing. They remind me of each other, the jewelry companies. But there's a difference, actually. Okay, I'll pass on that. Um, let me get it right. So you may want to see the big fat Michael Kors back there in a minute. It's nice. It's like a big, it's not a duffel bag, but it, it's a big purse. It might be heavy to ship actually though. 
Let me see. What's next? Um, I am showing some things I've shown before. This is an end of the month. End of the month sale. Um, this is lovely. This is a, this is Monet, vintage Monet. I believe it's 19, this is 1980s. And it's nice, it's flexible. You see, like, there's the signature back there. Um, here, let me show it to you on here. It's nice. This one's separate. I have a lot of Monet as well that I'll do, but let me measure this. I think it's like, this is a buy it now as well. Most things are, unless I say it's not, then <laughs> it's 17 inches. And there, there it is on. This is 17 inches on this one. And it's the buttery, like very flexible and well-made. Yeah, the construction. It's nice too. It's not faded. This is in good shape. But this one um, is a fold over clasp. And if anybody wants this, I'll do it for 20. It's lovely vintage Monet. Or just Monet. Some people consider it vintage different years. I know that. But I consider 1980s vintage. So I like shining on everything. There's the back. Brenda, you want that? It's lovely. Thank you. Congrats. It's really nice. It's um it's real. It'll lay it lays well. I call it a Monet collar. It's not quite a collar, but and that's Tracy. My my favorite bag, Mary. Okay, there we go. There's your bag. Turn it in. Okay. Um, I have a pair of um. These are kind of J Lane. These are eighties, nineties, not Avon. I, I don't know why I mentioned that, but they're not because there's a difference. That's why, um, with the time periods and but the clips good on them, as you can hear. And here they are. It's your eighties or nineties on these. They're clips. They have a good, a good clip on them. They're not. And they're in good shape. They're more KJL underneath here. Let me show you this. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for, for being here. Um, it says KJL. No period. No dots. I know that's even the older ones. No dots separating it. And no Avon. So this is just kind of J Lane 80s to 90s. Um, <laughs> and for these, I'll charge 20. They're, they're in good shape. They're nice. Let me try to, can you see them well? The light's right there. It's hard. Excuse the back of this thing. They're nice, though. I think sometimes putting it on black makes it hard to see. I got a splinter on the palm of my hand. You see that? Yeah, Mary Ray, thank you. They're they're well worth that. Thank you for your your, your purchase. I was gonna say your bid. <laughs> it's not a bid. And that was stuff. Do I have something on hold for you? I do. Don't I have a pair of earrings or something? Why are you not on my list? Oh, I'm slipping. No, I'm joking. I do. I have a pair of earrings for you on on hold. That's what it is. Thank you. I know I do. I didn't ship them yet. They're sitting there. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> I know shipping when you're out in a different country, it's a lot more money. But um, I didn't ship them. Yeah, I think the black makes it hard, so I'm going to, like, try to use my hand. And, and soon I'm going to go camera down again when I'm selling, I think, overall. But I was trying to, I'm selling some purses, so it's hard. But thank you, Mary Ray. Yes, I have the coin earrings. Okay, you're just not on my list, which is, I'm pretty good at that usually. I knew, I knew in my head. Um, How about, let me show a couple of these little purses. 
See if anybody's interested. It's like, I have a number of them here. I have this big one. I don't know if anybody would be interested. This is a nice, nice, nice purse, Erica. No question about that. This is a big, delicious. <laughs> it's a big Michael Kors purse, a nice one. Um, well, I'm saying it, it looks big, right? Bigger in my head. Um, it's nice. Kind of looks like a doctor's bag, but it's not quite the snap top. I, I guess I'll show this now. It smells fantastic. You know, the smell. I like to smell leather myself. Let me get, I have stuff in it um, to hold it warm. But it's clean. It's in good shape. On the inside, you have the Michael Kors tag in there, and there's a zip. There's that. And then you have the inside portion as well. And here you have a cell phone pocket and another pocket and over there. And it zippers. It zippers in the middle. That's fully operational. These are decoration over there. They say MK for Michael Kors. Michael Kors written on the inside and on the button. And let me show you um, standing up. <laughs> I don't really like having my body in the view, but whatever. Look, and that's how big it is on me, anyways. And I'm five foot, but I have some weight to me, so I'm not tiny little thing or anything. Um, <laughs> it's it's a nice size purse. It's a good size purse, and it's lovely, and it's in good shape. Let me give it you a close up view of the thing all over. It has these straps. If I'm trying, guys, excuse me for that. Side, back, and bottom. And it doesn't have anything in it now. So it's kind of classy. It's pretty, it's clean. Like, look on the inside. Like, there's nothing, like, or no nasty smell. I've bought purses before it stink. This doesn't stink. Uh, it's in good shape, too. I don't see any, like, scratches or anything on it. But for this Michael Kors, if I, again, I think a medium, maybe, I don't know, honestly if I can get this in a medium or large, but I will start it low enough. Here's the bottom. It has little resting things on the bottom. You see that? And it's in good shape under there as well. See that? I'll start it low enough that if, you know, you can get it low enough that even if it is 20 or something for shipping, it's worth it. I will start this one at 50 as well. If anybody's interested in the Michael Core, this one's worth more than the other one. I know that, but 50 is good starting bid. I'm going to auction it in case there's more people. If no interest, I might use this one soon. I, really, I like it. Here's the back. It has the same type of straps. It reminds you of your mom's doc. It does remind me of Dr. Big. When I used to collect a Dooney and Burke, well, I had an ex that used to buy them for me, and I always liked the Dr. Bags and the Dooney and Burke. But this one, I would start at 50. It's not real, real heavy, but, you know, it's leather. And it's a quality bag. It's not flimsy or... It, it weighs a little bit, you know what I mean? You know what a purse weighs. All right, I'm going to hold it here for a second. Well, a minute, not a second. And I will pass on it. If nobody wants it, stick it over in the corner. I gotta get all that filler out of my front here. Use pirate ship, you mean what for regular USPS? UPS is a little bit cheaper, I think, sometimes, but they can be a pain. I'm gonna have to check into different. I mean, I don't typically sell this type of thing, but I'm gonna pass on it because I don't see any interest. I'm gonna stick the tissue paper and everything back inside of it <laughs> that I had in there to keep it. And I'll stick it back here. We'll pass on that. I do have a lot more jewelry, so don't go anywhere. I just wanted to show these because I said it was a variety. So Is any, does anybody know, um, well, these purses, I, I don't know. They're cheap. Let me show them. Maybe somebody will want it. Um, this is a little ink line. Little rhinestones surrounding the little lion's face there. This is like a soft texture. It's right on the inside. There's the inside snap. And then you go this side. These come off. Probably that's cool. Home births. Yeah, 
It's a nice bag. I like it. I'll probably carry that. It's go go good for leather with the leather coat. But anyways, I'm throwing the little incline. It's on an incline card. This little pin. I don't see the incline label on it. I. It's in the purse. Here's the inside of the purse. What it looks like. It has a zipper. And it's red. It's clean. And these straps come off, like I said. This is a smaller purse, as you can see. It's not big and it's very light. And this would definitely fit in a um and ship pretty cheap in one of the uh priority envelopes or you know. But if anybody wants a little incline, it's about 10 inches across. Like I can measure it. Let me measure it. It's cute little purse it is ten and a half inches across and up and down it's like five and a half the little strap comes off so you can carry it as a clutch without the strap if you don't want the strap but I'll do the little incline purse and the pin inside of it for for 20 if anybody's interested and yeah the lighting you see it has little rhinestones surrounding the cat head there the lion head it's a soft material it's a cloth. It's not plastic. It's almost like sequins or a faux, like, snake skin or something. That's the back. I'm sorry. <laughs> I may switch everybody over to pirate ship. I know that takes time to do. I mean, I have time. All right. I think I'm going to pass on this. I think I'm, gonna, I'm not going to show any more purses. I'm just going to get back to my jewelry. Um, but let me get back to it. Unless somebody wants to see one. I mean, I have a straw with leather straps. A guess. It's not a bit. I mean, in a vintage Gina with. Look at this one. Just look at this. It's adorable real quick. This to change purse is in there. This is a vintage Jana. I think from the 60s. A true clutch. Listen. It has lips all through it. It's cute. But, and then I have this. Hi, hi, go, Granny, go. Or Phyllis, hi. <laughs> and I have that. If anybody wants to see any of these, you can ask me and I, and I can show it. This is These are leather straps, and this is like a, you know, that, what's that material called? Not straw, kind of, I guess. But that's what I have. If you want to see it, you can ask me. I'm not going to bore you guys with that. Um, Mainly sell jewelry here. All right, let me show some more things. Um, I'm going to show single pieces, and I'll get back to lots. Like, I have a Brighton bracelet. There's that, and, and then there's the B Brighton on the end there. I'll measure this. The little one with the lips on it's adorable, I think. So these, this is eight inches in length, and it's red glass and has these pieces, you know, cut out. It is a Brighton bracelet. I'll do this for 12 if anybody wants to just put 12 in the chat. There's the ends. You can wear eight inches or smaller. As you see, you have this piece. You can wear it seven to eight inches. So this is will fit... Um, yeah, a variety of wrist size for this one. Sorry, I don't mean to move it around all over the place. I should put it on the wrist, I guess. But the black, again, makes it look weird. I need to get different colors to use for the... Uh, all right, no interest in a Brighton for 12 it's well worth that. But if there's no interest, that's fine. I'll, I'm going to pass on it. If I see a number pop up, I'll pull it back out. I think I've waited long enough. I know there is some, a little bit of a delay. All right. I've shown that one before. I know I've shown things I've shown a number of times. But that's all right. It's because it's the end of the month. I'm not trying to bore you with that. Um, let me show you this here. This is a, um, this is adorable. This is. A Betsy Johnson frog. You know I love frogs. Look at them. Yes, a chain. 
obviously is on a necklace and it says there's her name, her initials, and I can't see that. Well, whatever. It's Betsy Johnson. It's a frog. Let me give you the measurement on the chain and I'll put a price up see if anybody wants them. Um, he's really adorable. It has an extender on. I'm gonna give you. You can make it any length you want, basically, with this type of chain. But the the full length is like it's 24 inches, and the frog is. He's a pin too. You can take him off and wear him as a pin brooch. It takes about two inches. Look how adorable he is. He is a pin. So if anybody wants the frog, I I will sell him for 24. He's quite adorable. A brass finish. He has a pin or a pendant with a chain that's 24 inches for the little froggy. Betsy Johnson frog. Test. What's that mean, Robin? Do you say want or test? What's test? I'm sorry. Test him? You didn't mean. Are you doing something at work and you did that by accident? <laughs> All right, Lori wants him for 24. He's adorable, Lori. Thank you. And I do have a bag for you, so he'll get added to that. Okay, okay. Did you say something that I missed, Robin? Okay, yeah, I saw about the pirate ship. Thank you. I, I mean, check it out. Oh, okay. Okay, so 24 for the frog. Betsy Johnson frog. I'm going to call him a BJ frog. Um, I, I'll put him in a separate bag and then add him. Yeah, that happens. I've been stuck before. With, and I'll put it, him in this bag here. All right. But what's next? What is that? Oh, that was the inclined clutch. He is cute. You're welcome. I loved him. But he was just laying and I wasn't doing anything with him. So that's why he went. All right. How about these? I don't know if I don't think I ever showed these. These are brass. I have four brass bangles. They don't have any like seam lines on them. They're they're fairly well made. They're there they are. Different size. You smaller, two of the smaller, two of the larger. These are measuring, they're almost two and three quarter inches. There's how they would fit. My wrist, um, I have an average size wrist on well, six. These will fit up to, look, I, I'm having a hard time showing it. There we go. All right. Yeah, enjoy him. He's adorable. And thank you. All right, so if anybody wants these four brass um, bangles, they have these little studs on them. I'll, I'll sell these for 15 if anybody's interested. I think they're pretty nice. Um, I'm getting myself cluttered up here with those purses. Well, I can't do that. I'll hold them like this. See, in the, on the inside, they, they are brass, and you don't have any lines. Sorry, I'm thirsty. I'm going to, well, I'll wait a minute, then I'm going to pass them. All right, I'll pass on them. All right, um, I, let me get some more of my lots, I guess. I have to, I call these the enameled flyers. No, these aren't the enameled. These are the flyers, not the enameled. These are little pins, brooches, have you, whatever you want to call the little fellas. And I have one, two, three, five, six of them. This is lovely. There's this butterfly. I'm going to auction these. I'll start it low. And if only one person says they want them, they'll get it low. This lovely butterfly. This looks like crystals to me. They're lovely. Here's the back. This is a nice little vintage pin. I don't know how old, honestly. I can't really look at it, but it's nice. You have pink and purple on it. So there's this butterfly. It's like an inch and a half. Very lovely. There's that. 
I have another butterfly. This is an enamel and rhinestone butterfly that's about an inch and a half as well. This one has Liz Claiborne on it in the back. It's cute. So there's two butterflies. And then there's this. This is a vintage enamel, metal, enamel over metal. It's, it's an adorable one. Well, paint, we'll call it enamel. And so I'm going to straighten them out. There's the back. Let's see how he's made. It's cute. That's about an inch and a half, too, we'll say. I didn't measure it, but it's metal with the colors over it. And then I have three ladybugs. So this one has a little piece under there, a ball under it. It's blue. Little pin in the back. Little One little ladybug. Two little ladybugs with this one has white clear white rhinestone eyes in black and red enamel. It's gold tone and it has this type of clip as well on the back. It's a tiny little one. Like this one's like three quarters of an inch. The last one was like a half inch I just showed. And then this one is really, really cute. This is very tiny, maybe a third of an inch. It's really cute. It has different colored rhinestones. In it. So if three little ladybugs, I call them the flyers. And this maybe is a butterfly. I don't know. Three butterflies, three ladybugs. I will start them at $15. I'm going to auction them in case there's more than one person interested. But you get six of them starting bit of 15 Adorable. This is lovely. Beautiful little pin. And, um, well, two butterflies and then the enamel on you. These two pretty butterflies. Wow. Well, and this vintage metal with enamel over it. I think that's a butterfly as well. And then three ladybugs. One enamel, clear rhinestones eye, eyes. And then these two as well. This one's adorable. All right, so it's six pins for start at 15 if anybody's interested. They're springy themed. Butterflies and ladybugs will be out soon. I haven't noticed any yet. Well, when I I haven't really been in this area to notice them. All right, I need something to set stuff on when I'm showing it. Like a stand, like that you where you could see it, but that only happens camera down. All right, Let's see if I can show them all. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard. My hands aren't very big either. Oh my. I'm going to drop them if I try doing that. Okay. I don't see any interest in the flyers. 15 bucks. If anybody changes their mind, that was the starting bid. I'll put them away. And I wish I could show them a little bit better there. It's hard. It's hard to like keep them held up. All right. I have some C pins. Let me show these. I'm calling these are the, of the C. And I call them, they're brooches, pins, whatever you want to call them. Um, this is best. This can be worn. I have, there is a total of like six of these as well. Let me show you. There's this one. This is the company Best, B-E-S-T. It's nice silver tone with some gold framing the um, starfish. And you can wear, Here's it has a pendant on it. You can wear it as a, you know, it has a veil on it as a pendant or brooch, a pin. And there's the best signature. So there's that one. I have this one as well. This is a um, best. Again, it's a best. And it can be worn as a pendant or as a pin. And it is a crab, a little crab and a starfish on a clam shell. And it's signed best. And there's a clip or it's a brooch. With a C clasp. That's just how they make it. This is not in like it's not a antique brooch. I know that for a fact. It's just how they make it. So I have those two. And then I have this is very lovely. Uh dolphins. Liz Claiborne, two gold tone and silver tone. This is about three inches across. There's those two dolphins. A seahorse. He is like a rhinestone in some type of acrylic. He's cool though. There's the back. There's the seahorse. So it's four. I have a another dolphin. 
with Pave style rhinestones looks gold plated to me. It's unmarked. There's the back. It's a vintage pin. He's cool. We see the rhinestones in the center of his body, and then he has one. They're just like on the underside of his body right here. So there's that. Then I have another starfish pin. And a JJ light tire, which, or, or um, a lighthouse, which is on the sea, typically, right? And this is a JJ. So I have a JJ, a Liz Claiborne, and two best. And for these, I was gonna, I'm gonna start them at $30. You get a total of one, two. This is an auction. Um, three, four, five. Six. There's seven total. So even if nobody, you know, if you just only one person only bids, it's like four dollars a pin. Something like that. So one, two, three, four. Seven of them total. They're all nice, sturdy. Um, hi Leo Hi. The, the best is a good brand of um pin. It's well made. Look at it. It has a Waiting on it. Um, oh, my back is killing me. All right. Hi, Karen. I was showing, I, I don't know if I have any interest. I was showing, I have seven, I call them the C because they're all from the C. This is a best pin, a crab and a uh, starfish and a shell. This is the best company, B E S T, towards a pendant or a pin. Then this is the same thing. This is best as well. Starfish. That's a dolphin with pave style rhinestones and clear ones under its belly. Looks gold, um, gold plated to me. This is a JJ. Light tower uh, pin. This is an unnamed vintage. Um, they're all vintage. Uh, but this is a seahorse with a, you know, you can see what's going on there. It's rhinestones and some acrylic with him. This is a Liz Claiborne. Again, um, two dolphins. And it, here's the back of it. It's very nice, actually. They are separate, but together they're joined. And one more seahorse. I mean, starfish. So I was starting a bit at 30. I'm going to um, I'm gonna take them, uh, remove them. I was auctioning them because there's a lot of them and they're worth more than that. So 30 bucks was a starting bid. Let me move those over to the side. The seat, put them with this. Thank you. All right. Oh, my feet. I have some clear rhinestones. I'll show these. I'm just going to do a buy it now on them. On these. They're nice. Um, It's very lovely. I have this lovely, fully pronged brooch. This is well made. The back. And then you have. um. They're clear rhinestones. All right, there's that. One. I have another pin. Um, this one is lovely as well. A brooch, I mean. And here's the back. Sorry. Um. Then there's a couple necklaces. There's this necklace. This is like a 16 inch drop on that. Clear, fully pearled rhinestones. Here's the back of it. Um, it's pretty, it's, it's a well-made necklace. And then I have a long one as well. A fully pronged, um, there's that. And then there's this one. I'm going to add it on to Harris with 20 inches. They're fully pronged as well. Then there's a couple pairs of bracelet and a couple pairs of earrings as well. So two pins, two necklaces, um, two brooches. I mean, those are actually our brooches. Two necklaces, two pairs of earrings. These are vintage. It's all vintage jewelry, actually. Screw back. Fully pronged, right? Clear rhinestones, lovely, two different shapes. And then I have these long clips. They're fully pronged as well, and they're long dangle like. 
earrings. They're nice. Here's the clip on them. So there's those earrings. There's these screw backs. Here's the back if you want to see them. Okay, there's two pairs of earrings. Here's the two necklaces. I'll measure them real quick just to let you know. But here it's both, they're both fully pronged clear rhinestones with fold over clasp. And then it's, um, oh, I have a bracelet as well. Fold over clasp, clear rhinestones. And then the two pins. So that's one, two, three, four, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of jewelry. Let me measure these for you guys. So you are girls. <laughs> so you know what they are. This one is a total of like 21 and a half inches, the long one. And this one here is um, a total of 14 inch drop on this one. Okay, so for all of them, I'm not going to auction them. I'll do a buy it now 30 for all pieces. You get the two necklaces that are lovely vintage necklaces. Two pins, two brooches, clear rhinestone brooches. This one is fully pronged. These ones are like bezel set in there. Then the bracelet as well. Ducky Jones, you want that for 30? Thank you. I've sold, yeah, I've sold these before. It's been a little while since I've seen you, but hi, thank you for stopping by. I'll put this in a bag for you. It's nice. It's well worth that. Lots of lovely jewelry there for that price. Um, all right, I'll throw that in there. If you're in the corner, there's um, tag. All right, let's see. Um, I have this. I just uh, Thank you and congratulations. I, I know I move fast, but, you know, I'm on a mission. <laughs> I think everybody moves fast. This is Trafari. This is lovely crystal in rhinestone rondelles. You're welcome. Hope you enjoy that or get some good use to it. Look how beautiful that is. Dump strand. Trafari. See the little... It says Trafari. It's a little crown. I'm not, I'm not doing too... There we go. All right, I'll measure this. Um, I have it at the very shortest, and then I'll and tell you how big the how long the extenders. So the drop is 15 inches on the you know the shorter one. How far long it's going to go around your neck, and it is a it's a two inch extender on it, and this is lovely. Look how it's absolutely it's just beautiful. This is a there's the tag. It says Trafari and has a little crown. I'll do this one for 20. There's what it looks like in the back. You want to see. It's a lovely tra vintage Trafari necklace. I don't know the exact dating on it, to be honest, on this one. Well, it has a lobster claw, so 80s or 90s, right? Or forward, maybe it's not vintage. I don't know, it's just fantastic, no matter what it is. <laughs> it's very pretty. Irene, you want that? Okay, thank you, Irene. I have a bag for you, too. I'm not going to put it in with that, though, so. But I'll know to send them together. Thank you. Congrats, it's very lovely. And it shines like that without being under the bright lights, too. This necklace is really nice. Okay, let me see what I else I have. How about a purse strap, guys? No, I'm kidding. Oh, I have this, and I've shown this, but I'm going to show it again and offer it cheaper than what I did last time. Hi, Rusty. Hi, hi. Thank you for coming. This is Garnet, and let me measure it and just toss a quick price on it, and you can, if anybody wants to take a toss on it. In. It is... 17 inches around, it will be around your neck. A barrel clasp. Hi, Deb. Thank you for coming. It's nice to see you. So it's a barrel clasp. It's garnet. 
and it's nice. It's 15 bucks if anybody wants to just put 15 there. It's a nice, lovely piece of little, little garnet pieces there. For 15. This one I just showed, but I fear it offered again. Let me hang it on the neck. Oh my feet. I'm like, I have my foot up under myself. I'm like crushing. <laughs> Joking. I'm crushing myself. It is garnet. Yes, this is garnet pieces. Little, little like chips, but soft. You know what I mean? They're not like, I don't know. Is that what garnet chips are? I guess they're all soft, huh? They are garnet. Yes. Elena, Elena, I don't know have, if I haven't sold to you before. It's fine. Thank you for your, I, this is yours, but just email me here. I don't recognize your name at, you know, you see my email, vintage jewelry, galartyavy.com. I just need your, um, yeah, it's, it's nice. Um, I just need you to send me your, um, PayPal email address and YouTube name, the country in which you live. So I know just shipping. Okay. Thank you. And thank you for joining. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I don't I don't say that a lot, but why not? Um, I do sales. I have different types. I try to bring a variety of different types of sales. Oh, teardrops. Yeah, these are like these aren't. I do have some nice garnets sitting right here. Thank you, Alina. Congrats. Well, I don't know if they're really teardrop, but this is um nah, this is chips too, but there are some pieces like that on there. This is I'm on I don't this is nice. This is glass, sterling glass and uh chips and then some rounded pieces, but probably not enough to interest you with what you want it for. I mean, you know, because these are chips up here, but these are like disc, thick disc. Then we have the faceted glass, red glass, and more, and then it's bigger down here. These pieces, big pieces are glass. But this is nice. I, I'm going to offer it, see if anybody wants it. Why not? This is a drop of 16 inches on this, and it's lovely, like blood red garnet. I don't know if the pieces in between are silver. I didn't do that, but I'll do this for... It is lovely. I'll sell it for uh, $24 if anybody wants this. It's very pretty. Like you've got this lovely red color. Hi, Gina. Hi. Hi. Oh, my God. I can't even pronounce Bagamo. I can't pronounce that. Bagam Bagaminal. <laughs> Hi, if you're um, subscribed, if you haven't subscribed, no. If you want to buy anything, you could just email me at Vintage Strollery Galore. But hello, thank you for stopping by. All right, I'm going to pass on it. I, you know what, this is something I think I should just be keeping anyways. Everybody knows my red love. And it's perfect length. It's 16 inches, so it's my length that's like that length. I like that. So I'll pass on it. All right, let me show, let me move the stuff away I didn't sell. If anybody goes back. Babu. Okay. Babu. <laughs> I tried reading it. Um, it's it's a hard name. But thanks for coming. Say hi, Gina. I guess you uh you got my message. Um it's been a while. Well, yeah, since yesterday. Since I talked to you, right? Um, all right, let me show I have a bunch of lots, like I said. These are going cheap. <laughs> what happened to Gina's? Oh, there we go. I don't I'm sorry, something pushed up where I thought something happened. There. These are gold tone earrings. Let me show what I have. They're all costume. They're cool, though, I think. Nice earrings. Um, we have these cool 1980-looking earring. Big. Big and beautiful. Hold on. Oh, big and cool. There we go. There's these in the, in the lot. Gold tone lot. These are like two and a half inches. Nice. Metal course with the enamel gold tone they're in good shape too no fading or anything of those i think these are lovely i didn't know what these were i thought there's something extra good but i can't identify what they are so um here's the wait is there a marking on the no no 
Okay, there's the black. These are clips as well. Thank you. Thank you, Alina, for sending it. And these are little reverse rhinestones, Rivoli's. They're nice. These are about an inch and a half. And they're not real heavy, so they're wearable. They're clips anyways. So there's these gold tone. That's two pairs. Um, these are an enameling as well. I don't see a maker's mark on, but I threw them in there. Um, they're a tail color gold tone and enamel, a clip. Okay, so that's three pairs. Then I have these little earrings that are flower gold tone, little Paris earrings. That's four pairs. And they're, they are Paris, but they're not real heavy. And these are vintage enameling. Enamel, I don't see a maker's mark. They look like a Monet or something, though, don't you think? Gold tone and, and white enamel. Paris series. These are Paris, but they're not real heavy. These ones are nice. These are put together. Um, gold tone tubes. They're like all wrapped, pushed together there. Um, Paris earrings. <laughs> so let me show them. They're not faded. They kind of look like that on my camera. They're gold tone and they're in good shape. Hi, Jane. The... All right. All right. And then I have a pair of hoops. These are lightweight. They're costume. Of course, they're all costume. But they're a little pair of hoops. All right. So one pair, two pair, three pairs, four pairs, five pairs, six pairs, seven pairs of earrings. Now, in particular, these ones, I believe, are quite fantastic. I will sell all six pairs for 20 bucks if anybody wants them. Just put $20 or Hi, Christina. So these ones are worth $20 <laughs> alone. But all seven pairs for 20 These two are my favorite pair. The reverse rhinestone or Rivoli's and these big, like, what is that? Like a zebra stripe. But there are just five other pairs, as I mentioned. And these ones are pretty cool, too calling them the tubes. They're gold tone. They're not faded. That's the lighting shining off of them. They are pretty intact. Gold tone. And these ones are pretty too. They're all nice. But I really like these ones. They are pretty um neat. They look designer, but I have no luck at figuring out who they are, so they were thrown in a lot. But if I don't have any interest, I'll pass on. Like these ones are big, but they are clip. You can, like, wear them easily. You're cleaning. I did that yesterday. I built a shelf for Eva, and I sat up her stand in her bedroom. She was happy when she got home. Um, I got a lot done. All right, no interest in my gold tones. The silver tones sold. I guess it was because of fush. That's all right. I need. I, I will study. These are look. These are gold plated. I believe I'm going to study those more anyway. So let me put them away. Um, I just put lots together, go through all my things, and try to get some of them out of there um, that I think people might like. Let me get rid of those bangles so I don't call them again. How about a piece of corn? How about a clear rhinestone corn, guys? Um, unmarked, but, oh, it's not unmarked. I think it's a Sarah Coventry, but it's fantastically cool, I think. Yeah, it's a vintage Sarah Cove corn. Is this corn? I think so. Or is that, yeah, it's a piece of corn. Anyways, if anybody wants this clear rhinestone Sarah Coventry piece of corn, it's like three inches. You can have it for 12 bucks. It's cool. Look, you want to wear some corn? Yeah, it's cute. It took me 25 minutes to build the stand. It's pretty easy. You just put screws in it. You know, you screw the screws in. But then I had to, like, her necklaces fell on the floor, so I had to hang up. I gave her another little lady to hold some necklaces, and I had to go through all that. Anybody want the corn for 12? <laughs> I don't like, why is there, I mean, they make jewelry for everything. All right, thank you, Elena. Very nice of you to say. I appreciate it. You know, sometimes we don't feel kind. 
everybody gets where they don't feel kind sometimes. All right, I'm going to pass on the corn. I'm going to give it to Eva. <laughs> I'm joking. You oh, my God, it's getting out of control. i got to stop giving her jewelry. She, she, oh, let me do the Monet lot. I have any Monet ladies in the house here? Sweet. This is nice. I'm auctioning this because it's worth a lot more than what I'm putting on it. It's vintage Monet. But uh, I'm starting to auction very low, so if only one person says the price, they get it very low. Okay, in the 1970s, Monet started with small, medium, and large bangles. I have the small and large right here. Gold tone Monet bangles. That's two of the items. I... I can get the small over my hand, but I don't want to. But here's what the large is. It's very big. And the small will fit a small. I mean, let me measure it. For me. I need to get a cone. I'm working on that. It's two and a half inches. So, yeah, I could definitely get that over my hand. I don't want to, though. I don't feel like I have to squeeze it over my ring and back. So, these are the ones larger, but this is average size, considering maybe a little smaller than average. I don't know. But, anyways, two Monet, vintage Monet bangles. You need the medium and you have the whole set. I have this leaf. This is a Monet. Um, one second. This is a Monet feather, I think. It's like three inches. You see, look. So there's the leaf. I mean, the feather, the two bracelets. This necklace. This is from Concepts, I think. Um, Monet Concepts brand. I, there's their signature clasp. It has a hang tag hanging off of it. And there's some clear rhinestones in there, like pave style in black enameling and gold tone. It's in good shape. Let me measure it for you. Um, oops. Did you hear that? It's a 15-inch necklace. It's nice. So that's one of the items as well. Two bracelets. A pin, one necklace. These are Monet earrings. They're nice. These are knotted, gold tone and like knotted. And then I have this necklace. This is a multi-strand Monet. It's nice. It looks, it's not going to be perfectly untangled because it's hard to do that. But look at the chain on the end. This is a vintage Monet. Triple, not triple, one, two, three, four. Five strands, and it's kind of knotted up. Um, no, it's not knotted. It's tangled. There's a difference. Um, but there's what it looks like. It's very lovely. This is a nice, um, looks gold cool, plated, long Monet. Let me measure it. Well, not that long. It's a vintage Monet. It's not long. I think it's probably like 16 inches. But from here down, it's 17 inches. So you get the, um, let me hang the two Monets up together. You get the two vintage Monet necklaces. Like I said, I think the ones from the concept, I, I can't remember exactly. It was one of them. I looked it up in the book. It's not in the book, but the collection is. And you get this Monet. It's 1980s. I believe that's what all of this is, 70s or 80s. So there's these two necklaces. The two bangles, the small and large the Monet earrings. These may be more modern, actually, because the it's written on this piece, and I didn't see it on the earring. I could have missed it. But they're still nice. They're gold tone. And then you get the feather. And I'll start them at 25. I'm going to auction them if only one person says it, then you get them at 25. But starting at 25 for the two necklaces, the pin, two bracelets, and a pair of earrings. Gold tone Monet. I'm going to call them all 80s. How's that? But I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I think the earrings may be a little newer because I didn't. I can't see a marking on them. So I range in at 25. Is anybody else interested? You'd go to 27. If not, I'll give them the Irene for $25. They're nice earrings and they're unfaded. They're they're very nice actually. They're not like tied together there kind of thing. Oops, sorry about that. All right, I only see one. Nobody else interested? Oh, I'll just call this to, uh, to Irene then. I'll give it just a second, a minute here, just in case. That's a good buy. This necklace, is, this one's lovely. I mean, this one's nice too, but this one is really nice. And I think it may be older than 80s, but I don't know. 
I said anise because it's gold tone, but see that? The extender. No way it's anchored. But okay, I'm gonna call it 5432 Fair Warning and Sold to Irene for 25. Thank you, Irene. If has anybody noticed I've I've been perfecting my wrapping technique instead of wrapping everything individually. I've been trying to just use the tissue paper for <laughs> I'm working on it. I get worried about it getting messed up, but I know sometimes it's hard to open it when everything's wrapped individually and tight. So I kind of stopped doing that. Um, I think I have one second, guys. Thank you. Let me find your, your bag. Here you are. All right. There's that. All right. I'm just going to call this a buy it now. Forget the auctioning. Um, oh, my God. These are adorable. These are the little enamels. Okay. Let me show you what I have here. You remember them? Yeah, I don't have the medium one there, but I knew I sold the medium one in the past. I would have had the whole collection, small, medium, and large from that time point. It would have been kind of cool. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. I'm calling these. To, these are the little enamels, and there are a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little pins. I have the Easter bunnies in a basket. These are all vintage little fellas, I believe. Three Easter, three bunnies in a basket. There's the back. It's that metal with enameling over it. And is there, wait, there's a hallmark on it. It's a JJ. This is a little JJ in the 70s. Okay, that's what I thought in the book I remembered seeing. They came out in the 70s in different colors, the small, medium, and large. Okay, so that's a JJ. I have a tiny deer with red eyes or one red eye because they only show one of them facing. It's a, it's a baby, a fawn. This is vintage as well. It's metal and brown enameling with some little white dots and a red rhinestone eye. There's the little deer. There's this cool bird with a red eye. He is metal vintage with enameling as well. So that's number three. Number four, this is really adorable. I thought the three pieces of fruit, metal. It's a, it's a vintage one. Um, it's old. And it's enameled fruit. So that's number four. Number five is a pretty little flower. I don't remember what this is called. Is that an iris? Am I calling it the wrong thing? Look. It's a flower. It's gold tone with some enameling, enameling over it as well. Looks kind of weird. Is that Ben or something? There you go. It's fine. Now I've been it back. There you go. It's a little lightweight. I. It's cute. It's well made. Okay, so there's that. And iris. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's very pretty. I've been it back over. I think this is, it's vintage. It's well made too. Look at it. Like how it's constructed in there. It's in more than one piece, but it's like put together. And then I have the turtle. This has an AK. Is this inclined? Did inclined make turtles? I don't know. But he's gold tone and enameling, and he's adorable. So he's in here. One of the little enamels, I'm calling it. Then I have, oh, I thought that's adorable. Okay. Tiny little alligator. A crocodile. I don't know which one it is. Can never tell the difference, honestly. I know when it's a longer thing, but when it's, he's teeth, his sharp little teeth. And then a teddy bear, because why not? This is vintage. It's got a plating on it. And it's a little teddy bear. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. I'll do them for 25 bucks for all eight if anybody wants them. They're well worth that. These are cute little vintage pins. I can't show them all. I'm so sorry. I'm trying. It's so hard to put them when you're in this position. It is hard to present, I think. A little bit, but eight, eight little enamels for 25. Irene, you'll have them. Thank you. Hopefully none of them are gold. No, I'm joking. Hopefully they are for you. I'm kidding. They're not. I don't think. <laughs> One, the iris is, is lovely. Um, it's really nice. And it's old. All right. Thank you, Irene. I didn't test them, though, but I, I think they're just like, you know, metal. But they're still worth that. Thank you. 
All right, it's 124. I'm moving along well here, huh? How about some cats? Mm, I'm, I feel like I do move extremely fast, but it doesn't matter. Um, these are, yeah, thank you. You like the alligator? It, it's cool. Um, the, the deer is great to see the deer, too. The construction of that deer is just uh, really, really adorable. He's well-made little fella. They're all vintage. Some of them look 40s to me by the fact piece on the back of them. Um, but I have a lot of pins, so I get rid of them. Thank you, Gina. Yeah, give me. Yeah, the little deer is cute, too. I like the fruit, too. The vegetables are cute. They're, they're old. All right, these are. I don't know. This is adorable, look, guys. Two cats under an umbrella. No. This is a JJ pin that had a battery in it. I didn't pry this off. I figured if somebody buys this, I'll let them do it themselves. But um, you lift this thing up and you can put a battery in there if you wanted. It, I think it probably played something like under my umbrella. I don't know. That was my guess. Or was... <laughs> it's a girl and a boy cat. Cat lovers, I guess. Adorable. Nice weighted. Um, JJ. Cats under an umbrella is one. I've, I've, uh, eh, maybe I'll just do that. These ones are a little beat up. I don't know if I want to sell them. He's really old. Again, look at the pin in the back. See that? But I think he's missed. He's missing an eye. <laughs> I don't know. I shouldn't be selling it. Let's let me sell the JJ. And this one's missing two rhinestones. I guess I should fix it or something or throw me craft. I don't want to sell them. But I did have these. And this one looks scratched. It's adorable. But I'm just going to sell this one, and you can replace the battery, take it out. If anybody wants it, they can have it for $10. It's it's cute. It's a nice pin. It's weighted. Um, feels like pewter with a brass finish over it. I don't know if it's brass. I, does JJ make brass? I know they make a lot of pewter. But they're adorable. Like I said, you could pry that out of there. I don't know. I think somebody may have added that in there, or you could put a battery in it and see what song it plays. If I don't sell it, I may do that. It's just been laying. I haven't done it. I wanted to. That's bad. I shut myself off one day when I dropped it. I dropped seem to be developing some dropsy on my hands. All right. Yeah, the deer was cute. I'm going to pass on them. The rest of the cats, like I said, they look a little beat up, so I, I decided against them. I'll put them in my craft pot. All right, I'm going to keep moving. This stuff's piling up down here. Um, I don't know what to show next. How about some earrings? These are stone or mother of pearl earrings that I have. I have a, there are little lots that I put together. Look. Um, these are, I have a pair of, yeah, that's probably, you're probably right. It's adorable. I think I'm going to put the battery in it and see what it's playing and maybe give it to Eva. Like she needs more pins, right? Um, it's getting crazy. These are moonstone Pierce on a base gold tone metal, but they are moonstone post. They're small, but you know, sometimes you wear post. I, I do. Other people do too. I know that. Okay. So those are that. This is a base metal as well. And they are abalone. These are nice. Um, there's those pair of earrings in there. So it's two. These test as a stone. I have no idea what they are. They're Paris bars. I think these are all Paris. No, it's one pair of clip. Okay, so there's these two. They're stones. There's these are abalone and enamel clips. These are clips. There's a right and a left, I, I guess is what that would be. Here's the back. And um, these look like a cat's eye. These are glass. See that? So that's another pair. And then these are, I don't know, like a mother of pearl or something. Um, <laughs> they are mother of pearl. What am I saying? Like, so there's these little earrings, and that's glass. So you have one, two, 
three, four, six pairs. I'll do them for 15 if anybody wants these for six pairs. Most are stone or abalone, and these ones are a glass cat's eye. They're all pairs except for these ones are clips. Like, you want the earrings, Evelyn? Okay, thank you. I've sold to you before, right? Did I have something already here today? I feel like I'm on the lap of memory. Um, I, that was Elena. Okay, if I have, have I sold to you? I think I have, but if I haven't, just email me. Okay, thank you. 15 for the earring lot of occult stone. One is glass, so. Thank you. Let me look. I don't know. I think I have one, but I don't know. Oh, that's already paid for. <laughs> Somebody else. Quick on, who did I do the white rhinestones? Oh, for the love of God, is the person here that I sold the white rhinestones for? What's happening to my brain? Um, <laughs> who was that? <laughs> Am I going to have to go back? If you're still here. Okay, okay, thank you, Evelyn. Um, who did I sell the white rhinestone to? Was that Irene? Irene, was that you? Are you still here? I'm sorry. I don't. No, I haven't a separate bag. Oh, my word, I put down a price, but not the name. I'll have to go back and look if you're not whoever I sold them to isn't here. I think I'm thorough, and sometimes I'm not. So if you're here, if you did bought the white rhinestone lot for 30 bucks, say that was me. If not, I would go back and watch the video, and I'll find who it was. I, I won't do that. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. Um, I'll have to go back and look. They may not be here anymore. I know people are working. This is glass, and it, it's strung. On um, it's it's not an in between, strung on a fabric, possibly soak. I cannot tell by looking at it honestly, but it's nice. And this is long. Let me see. It is. I know. I just tried selling this. I'm a salt cheaper. Thirty inches, and they are graduated in size, like smaller to larger. Let me double it up. This I will do for, I'll sell this for 10 if anybody wants it. It's, it's nice. It's a very nice necklace. Look at it. They are glass. It's not plastic. And not an in-between. It has a lobster claw on it, though. And I measured it, and it does have an extender on it as well that wasn't included. So this is a long necklace. I think I said 30 inches, and then you have, like, a 2-inch extender on it. Break myself a note to go back and look at the rhinestones. I can't believe it did that. The clear rhinestones, not white. All right. All right, Alina. Thank you. I'll add that to your bag. Thank you. It's it's really it's a nice, nice necklace. It's light too. It feels like it's not a heavy glass, it's a nice necklace. Um Okay. All right, let me stick that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I sold them to somebody and I don't remember who it was. I'm gonna have to go back and look. I have a note for myself. Yeah, I sold like seven pieces for $30 and they were nice. I mean, they were nice, nice. But there's more, but I don't have any more clear rhinestone right in front of me. I do have clear rhinestone though. I could pull out it another time for you. Um, This is, I've sold this, I've tried selling this before, but again, I'm at the end of the month, like I said. These are pearls and a base. I'm going to call it silver tone. Um, I don't believe it's sterling. No, it's not. It doesn't look like it. It's not more. 
So this is 15 inches with a with a two inch extender and it is pearls. It's um, peacock freshwater pearls and you have like this little coin pearl down there or baroque, whatever you want to call it. But anyways, if anybody wants this, um, I'll sell this for, I'll sell it for 10 bucks if anybody wants it. It's, those are over our pearls. You see, they're like potato pearls, I guess you call these, or peacock potato. <laughs> a peacock potato. Sorry. You hold on still. Yeah, I gotta get it back to Okay, Dem and Jay, you'll have the pearls. Thank you. It's nice. It's a nice necklace. Thank you, Deb. I do have something for you um, on hold here. All right. Um. All right, I wrote the name down. <laughs> Can't believe I didn't the last time. I, I, I'm, I'm slipping, guys. Now everybody, I think everybody does it from time to time. You keep on, like when you're writing nonstop, you sometimes mess up. Yeah, they're, they're really pretty. It's a nice necklace. This is, I think this is nice. Um, I've never tried selling this one before. It's made in Thailand. It's a vintage necklace. It's enamel with like a coating over it. They put like a coating of something over it. It's marked Thailand. T H A. And it's spelled completely out in a circle there. Thailand. It's gold tone. It's a costume necklace, obviously. Um, and it's a spring ring clasp. I'll measure it. It's a nice necklace, though. I can't see. Okay. So this one is 22 inches with a. With a two inch uh, pendant on it. It's marked Thailand and it's pretty. Those are like a very dark green on there and gold tone like surrounding. It looks blue. It's green. Let me see if I can show you right. Anyways, if anybody wants this, it's 10 bucks. It's nice. It's a nice vintage um, necklace. There's the pendant. If they don't want it, the back. And this is a vintage gold tone chain. 10 bucks on a Thailand necklace. Okay, Ducky did. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know how I forgot that. Thank you, Gina. Oh, you went back and looked for me. How kind. I personally, or did you remember? Either way, thank you. My mind feels a little fogged. All right, let me hold up the Thailand. This is a long shot, but it's nice. It's a nice. <laughs> it's a long shot, I said. I don't know if there's any particular. Some people like the enameling in Thailand jewelry. It's a vintage necklace. All right, so that was Ducky. can't believe I've got the right down. It makes me feel like I'm, I'm slipping. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's a nice, um, the one brooch is really nice. It's only, I think it's from the, like, 40s, maybe 50s. All right, I'm going to pass on the Thailand. I fear it was worth a try. I did bring scarves, and I had one that, like, just let me show this. Do I have any... Do, Anybody likes scarves? First of all, I'm sure. This is a Cisco. This is a nice scarf. Um, this is rayon, 100% rayon scarf by Cisco. And this could be unisex. Look. I have a nice um, tiger one too. I'll show that. But there's something happened is wrong with it. Let me watch it. It's not terrible. Well, it is. It might be terrible. I figured I'd show it. See if anybody's interested. But I doubt it. Because I was going to sell it, but I don't know if I can. Okay, this is 42 inches. Any more lots of brooches? I sold a lot of them. I sold like five, but I don't know. I'll just show this real quick, and then maybe I could go grab my brooches and pull some out for you. How's that? If anybody would want the Rayon Cisco, I'll sell it for 20 bucks, which is a good buy on this. I don't know if I have anybody that would be interested in it, the scarf. If not, no big deal. 42 inches Rayon, and here's the design. I'll go grab the brooches in a minute. I'm not going to just start something. I'm going to abort them. I'm going to abort that mission. Um, I can pull some out, Rosie. Give me a second. Just let me show the rest of what I have and see if anybody wants it, and then I'll grab some out because I have time. Came on a little bit early. 
a half an hour because of I did go get Eva and I wanted to make sure I get everything done. So I have three Asian type bracelets here. This one has a lovely tiger eye ball. This fantastic cat or whatever. I don't know if this is a cat. I don't know what that is. Okay, it's some kind of creature. <laughs> what is it? I'm trying to make it out. Yeah, I'm a Borton and scarves. Forget them. I don't have anything spectacular, and I don't know if I have anybody that's a scarf lover on here. Um, the tiger is pretty fantastic, but there's this little cigarette hole burnt in it, so it kind of ruined it. But this has some writing on it. Okay, so these are glass. This is glass, whatever that is, some kind of creature. And a lovely tiger eye on it. So there's three bracelets. There's that. There's this one that has a cinnabar piece on it. At least I think it's cinnabar, a dice. That feels like bone or something. Maybe it's, I want to call it bone, something like that. Okay, so there's this bracelet, a heart, mother of pearl heart. And then there's this one with the gold. It's a dragon. They're both dragons, I think. This is a dragon as well. A gold dragon, some writing all over these pieces that feel like a crayon, like a metal. So all three stretch Asian bracelets I will do for 15 if anybody wants these. They're cool. These could be repurposed. The dragons are pretty cool on there. There's him. And this one is a glass one that's on there. I believe that's a dragon as well. Ducky. I see Ducky first. Sorry. Well, not for you, Ducky. I'm glad that you got it. I was saying sorry to Lena. Thank you. <laughs> All right. All right. Let me and let me put your name on it again. There we go. Put that in with the rhinestones. Thank you and congrats. I'll go through these guys and then I'll pull out some of my stuff and sell out of the box. Why not? Um, no use in keeping it, right? It's not serving any purpose. All right. So this is cop. This is copper and carnelian. This has like an AB on it. I thought it was American Eagle, but I don't think so. I don't know what that means. Let me show it to you. Maybe somebody knows that marking. They can tell me. Here it is. This is in this is carnelian like um, agate, I guess. Here, this is a lovely. These are that's some type of. I don't know what material that is. Okay, but it has like this. It has a fake vertigree on it. You know how they do that on this, the jewelry. And it's copper as well, same brand. So there's these two uh, from that brand that are copper, a, an agate carnelian looking. I, I'm going to call it agate. And then this that feels like a wood type thing with the vertigree on the bottom and top. And then <laughs> this is something completely different, but I threw it in there. This looks like halite or magnesite dyed. You know, it's pink. It's a hot pink. It's fantastic. And it's brass. They're all cool. If anybody wants these, I will do all three of these for, um, I'll do all three of them for 18. They're nice. Let me put them on. I don't know if the pink one really matches what's going on there, guys, but these two go together. I just threw the pink one in there because it had the same type of um, thing going on. It doesn't really match necessarily, but it's a hot pink yes very hot pink here oh and i that is like a look it's like a highlight or something or magnesite dyed there's the back it's cool somebody might like that these two are very nice i don't know who the maker is on or does anybody recognize that tag i don't think it's american eagle and it's not the other one the other brand that makes those type of bracelets i don't know who this is but they are copper. I just threw them this one in there as extra. How about fifteen dollars? I <laughs> if not, they'll go back and I'll do something with them. Throw them in a lot or something. All right, I'll pass on those. Let me put them back in their bag and stick them in a corner. Let me move that. That's mine. All right, what else do I have that I can show? I'm going to be pulling the box out in a minute. I have on like 45 minutes before I'm going to go. Are there any Avon fans? I don't think I saw. I was really. Did I sell the Sarah Coventry? No. Well, yeah, I think I did. I don't know. 
I can't remember, guys. This is Avon, though. It's an Avon lot. Now, why not, right? It's hair. It came in. I get bags of jewelry and things come in there. And this one I actually picked off the wall. Some of this when I first started. This is gold. It's nice. This is a nice bracelet. Gold tone and silver tone. It's a nice bracelet look. There's that in a lot. Yeah, I guess before it is. That's well worth it. If you're reselling or even if you're keeping it, the best pins are worth $30 a piece. So congratulations and thank you. And there's a JJ in here as well. Yeah. All right. Yeah, they're yours. Let me put that in the bag. Thank you. I, um, I was trying to go through my pins and remove some of them. Um, I have a lot, a lot of words, just like a lot of, People do. You bought, didn't you have something? You had something else in here. Give me a second. Um, I will just write your name on it, set it on the top. <laughs> Thank you. I'll remember. I mean, because it's going right there. All right. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you. All right. This is Avon. Just let me show you guys real quick and give a price to see if anybody wants it. I have a pendant. This looks like a Trafari or Monet type of thing here. Oops. And it went flying. Okay. Oh my God, I, I'm, hold on, I'll be right back. Good Lord, see what happens there? Um, I'm back. <laughs> hi, hi, Cool Vintage. Thank you for coming, Cool Girl Vintage. Yeah, I've been on since 1130. I came on a couple minutes early. This is a nice pendant. This is Avon, but it looks like one of those, like, Trafaris or Monet, you know, actually like Trafari. But it's Avon. It's a brushed silver tone. Then there's this bracelet that's gold tone and silver tone. It's Avon as well. This is a little Avon lot. Then I have a gold tone necklace. This is a nice necklace from Avon. It's like 20 inches. Let me double it up. It's nice, though, to hang something on. It's dainty. It's pretty. Then um, this is a an Avon Uh it's like if this would fit up, you know, seven inches or so. It looks average size. There's that. This is an Avon bracelet. This is bigger. It's like silver tone. Then I have a pair of Avon earrings, clips. I think it's stone under there. If not, it's glass. This is an Avon bracelet. I'm doing it as a lot, so I'm not measuring it. If you ask me to, I will. And this is a low Avon pin. Then I have this pin. This is a nice vintage Avon. Okay, so I have the two pins, the two bracelets that are, like, more flexible. These two, a bangle and a little, like, open back bangle. And then I have the pendant that is really a nice, nice pendant. It's, like, two and a half inches. The gold tone necklace, 20 bucks if anybody wants the Avon lots, vintage Avon. And there's these little abstract kind of looking metal clip gold tone earrings. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces for 20 bucks if anybody's interested in the Avon lot. It's in the bag. That pin is very nice. I showed that fast. So I mean, I'm sure that's okay. This is like $2 a piece or something for each item or something. I think I said there was nine items, nine pieces of jewelry for 20. But if no interest, I'll pull it away in a minute. I'll leave it sit there for a minute. going to try to go camera down the next time I do something like this because when I'm doing lots, it's much easier to show what I'm selling. All right, I'm going to pass on that when I'm camera down. This, I think this is pretty. We can read on quickly here. Um, I don't know if I've ever showed this before to try to sell it, but those are, I think I did actually. This is a silver tone, like twisted bracelet there. You know what I mean? It looks like it has some texture to it. And those are pink rhinestones in there. And there's pink enamel. Those are diamond-shaped enameling around it. And there's the rhinestones on the center. Let me measure it. 
this bracelet um it's two and three quarter inches like there it is there if anybody wants this i will sell this for um i'll do it for 15. i think it's worth that it's nice i don't know if i just tried selling it if i did i'm sorry if i just brought it <laughs> can't remember it's all starting to run together but it's a pretty bracelet um i don't know where my neck went to put it on here let me use these hands I love these wooden hands. Aren't they cool? There, they can hold the bracelet. They can hold pins as well. All right, I don't see any interest in the bracelet. Let me pull it away. If anybody says they want it, I'll pull it out. All right, um, I'll be right back, guys. Give me two minutes, okay? i got to go to the bathroom real quick, and I'm going to grab a box from over there, and I'll show this glass that I have, and then I will bring over my brooch box and lay it here and go through it and see if there's any, if I can throw some lots together. But I will be right back. I really got to go to the bathroom. I've been like two and a half hours. I drink a cup of coffee. Me, let me grab. Hold on a second. I'm coming. Let me wash me. <laughs> I'm just about to wash my hands. That's a terrible thing. There. It's disgusting. All right. Coming right back. Let me grab a couple of things. Uh, hold on. Let me grab this necklace too. I was thinking I might just see if anybody wants this. I don't know who's here. This one, this, all right, that's good. That's a good start. Um, and this. All right, I'm going to get the pins. Hi, they, everybody left. Like, I went to the bathroom and six people left. Um, <laughs> yeah, hi. I, I really had to go to the bathroom. I'm sorry. All right, um, I'm going to pull out my pins in a minute. Just let me show the glass I have, and I have a couple necklaces that I decided to lower the price on and see if um, if anybody will want them. I don't. Yeah, I thought I'd come back. Everybody would think I left. I just really had to go. I've been sitting here for, you know how it is when you're sitting for a long time. But thank you for staying. Do I have a chat from somebody? Who's that? Oh, that's weird. I don't know. Strange. All right. This is, these are glass. This, this jewelry. It's like sea. I have three pieces here, three sets. This looks like some sea glass. And, um, there's that. This, this is triple strand. So there's this necklace and the little lot that I'm going to do. And, um, sorry. It's nice. It's a nice, there's like some carved glass in here, some art glass, like like foil, not foil, but glitter. And this is sea glass. There's several different colors of that. There's that triple strand. Then I have, this has a that on it. And there's the glass. So there's that necklace with a pair of earrings and a bracelet as well on this. There's the, um, again, it looks like a sea glass there to me. Like the marbles. It's like poured glass. I don't know. It's, it's just glass. It's only call it. Okay. And then there's earrings with the second one as well. So you have the earrings, necklace, and bracelet for the second one. The triple strand one that I showed. 
And then I have another set. Um, this is pretty. This is like, I thought it was a set. What happened to the earrings? No, oh, maybe it's not a set on my phone. At least in it. All right. I only see the necklace. So it's two necklaces and then a set of glass. This is the third one. It's long, as you can see. I didn't measure it, but it's all glass, different colors in there. But anyways, for these three, if anybody wants the set in all, in all of this, I will do all three of them for $18, the different glass sets. There's earrings and a bracelet to this one here. And then these, this is just a long necklace. And that one is a triple strand glass necklace. Irene, you'll take that. All right, thank you. I think I have earrings to this one too. And if I find it, I'll throw them in there, okay? I have to look. I swear I have them. I'll have to go look at my glass jewelry. It might have fell out of the bag. But thank you, Irene. All right, I don't know who, who all is here so, but let me offer, um, let me offer this. I have, remember this, this is my long, like, 80-inch Chinese turquoise. So I'm going to offer, I'm going to start it at a lower bid than what I did last time, see if I can't have, if I can't get any interest in it. So I'm going to times it by four after I measure it. I believe it's 40 inches. You're welcome, Irene. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, so... I'm going to say 70, well, 76 inches, 76 to 80. I'm doing it by, it's very long. This is strung on silk and it's Chinese turquoise. Okay. I started a lot higher last time. I'm going to lower it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to auction it, see if I have anybody interested in it. If only one person wants it, if nobody wants it, that's fine too. But for this long, beautiful necklace, I will start this at, I'll start it at $100, see if there's anybody interested in it. If you're a crafter, you can make yourself four necklaces out of this. If you like Chinese turquoise, it's vintage. Let me put it back on the neck. It's too hard to hold it like that. But there it is. I have it wrapped around four times. It's really long. It's like 76 to 80 inches. It's a very long necklace. All right. I'm going to hold it here for another minute. Oh, good God. All right. I don't, I don't see any interest in it. Okay. Um, is it heavy? Let me weigh it for you. I have a scale. I will weigh it in, in ounces. How's that sound? Not pounds. It's not a pound. I know that. It is. It's six ounces almost. It's six ounces almost, like 5.95. And it is strong on silk and it's vintage. It's, and it's well, um, it's firm. You know what I mean? It's not falling off here falling apart or anything. It's a well-made necklace. Whoever put this together did a great job when they did, but there it is. And it's not that heavy, honestly. But all right, I'll pass on that and bring it some other time or do something with it. Maybe I'll pull it apart and try to make something out of it. All right. Do I have any requests? I did a request for brooches, so let me go get that and I will show some of those. What time is it? Yeah, I have time. Let me grab them. I'll be right back. I have a whole like container full of them down here. Different types. Any does I don't have like big fantastic ones shoved in here because I would be doing lots. Um hi Tonya. But does anybody have um, any preference on the type of brooches they would like to see? I could do a flower lot. I have a box of flowers. Um, what else? Some animals, a variety of animals I have in here, different animals. Let me see. Angels. 
if anybody has any interest in those, that's separate. Um, these are figural, different types of figural. Again, different types of figural, like suns and things like that. Um, some figural there as well. Lots of figural going on. Um, or I can mix it up. A little bit of everything. How about that? Frogs. Let's pull a frog out. Let's do a frog. I'm going to put a little lock together. Um, ow. I just ripped the nail off again. I can't cry with nails. Animals. Okay, Aaron. I'll start with the frog. <laughs> Let's see. All right, I don't have a whole lot of animals right now, but I do have some. And I also have a fingernail breaking off again. I'm tired of trying to grow nails, guys. Okay, let's do, this is a nice heavyweight, fantastic zebra here. Look at him, that big head. I'll put that in a lot. All right, I'm going to do something I've seen other people do that I've never did. I will start the little auction at $10, how's that? And I went, well, wait. Okay, yeah, why not? <laughs> Ten bucks. I'll start it with him. A big, cool zebra. He's he's got some weight on me. He's well made. This is a vintage zebra. It doesn't have a marking on it though, so he he will be in there. The zebra is like three inches. There's how big that is. Then I have a little frog. One of my, hopefully, I didn't just block somebody or something. This thing just popped up. Okay, I don't think so. This is a that is faux abalone, but glass eyes. On this little froggy, he's adorable. His legs crossed, looking like a chicken frog. I'll add him for 10. Do I have any other bids? I can add a couple, like one or two more. Well, I'm running out of animals. I'll have to add something else as well if anybody wants to get it on it. If not, um, I'll add one more and I'll sell it to you for 10. It's which is well worth it. These are cool. I'm more, I'm more kind of running out of animals. Which is terrible. You know why? Because the last couple of times I sold lots, I pulled animals out of them. And I just did animals today. That's why. I get them in every so often. All right. All right. I'll, I'll do three for ten. How's that? This dog. Or eleven. Somebody's in for eleven. Okay. I have a dog. Um, he's really cool. This is brass. Copper nose. Copper bone in the middle of his belly. And I believe those are glass pieces there. I don't think that is stone, although I didn't test it. Okay, if you guys don't mind $2 increments, not that it really matters, but $2 just goes better if anybody's, or if not, if I read a lot, is anybody interested in coming in at 14? I have three so far for 12 bucks. These are well worth that. This one's cool. Out of them, this is my favorite. Let me see if I have any other emails I can add for you guys. I get these a good price on these guys. Oh my god, I have a big giant teddy bear. I mean, is this considered? Look at him. He's gig he's huge. He's like this is like four inches. And I'll add him. He's been hanging out for quite a while. We'll add him to it. There's the back. It's a vintage teddy bear. And he's huge. He's green eyes and that is pinched. Let me check if it's pinched metal like it looks. I think I'm going blind. Um, yeah, it's pinched metal on him. Gold tone and green eyes. All right. Is that it? 15? Are you going to come in, Ducky? That's four of them. That's all I'm going to add. Any four? These are at that for $3.50 a piece. And this one, this is super cool. So it's the dog. They're all cool. All right. I'm going to call it then. I don't see any other bids. Four for 15. That's good, right? I have flowers too. Nobody seems to want the flowers. I have a whole box of them. I never seem to get rid of I haven't put them. I need to put them together in a better lot. A lot. Okay. So fifteen for Irene for the four. Thank you. They're they're cool. The four animals. Um, Bessie. I don't know if she's still there. She didn't tell. Me, um, she'd asked me for for. I don't know if there's a special kind she wanted to see. Okay. So that's Irene. All right, thank you. Let me put them in the bag. I'll put them in here. Like that. 
And I got through mostly everything. I did have some stuff that didn't sell. I had purses that didn't sell, but I stopped showing those. Um, yeah, the zebra's cool. The dog's cool, too. We do see him in person. He's pretty neat. Um, I've been on here quite a while, though, since um, I did have this, too, a purse chain. I don't think I'm really going to show that. And um, Oh, wait. I have um, this little knickknack. Yeah, yeah, you can have that. It, it's it's nice. Thank you before. It's it's a pretty necklace. It's really nice, actually. It's worth that, I think. All right, thank you. Are you working? I said ten. Okay, ten. All right, you have another. I read this. I think I got through a lot. I mean, I did get through a lot, but um, some stuff didn't sell. And, and I mean, most of it did. So I had Avon and some gold tone earrings that didn't sell. The butterflies didn't sell. They don't, I mean, I started those at 15. They were adorable. That's okay. Um, I've shown this before, but I, eh, I'm not going to show that right now. You're welcome. Thank you. It's 2.05. I'm going to stay a little bit longer, then I'll go get Eva. Do I have any Aunt Klein ladies that like that? I oddly feel like I just showed this. Your babysitting. I'm going to see the baby tonight. I'm looking forward to it. Um, this is an Aunt Klein bangle. It's red, gold tone, and it's nice. It has a little rhinestone in the back and a little cat head on there. Um, it's two and a half inches. Uh, but if anybody wants this incline bangle, I will do this for, I'll do it for 12 bucks. It's high, that little tags hanging by a chain on the bracelet. Like, and it is enamel, um, red enamel in gold tone. I'll, I'll leave this. Yeah, the zebra, I was surprised when I find him, honestly. He's really cool. I don't, like, he was a, might not surprise, I do get animals, but he was a big, substantial one. He has a good weight to him, too. All right. No interest in that. All right. The brooches, I have a lot of flowers left, and I do have other things in this box. I do have some, um, Ressi, you want that? Okay, thank you. Do have some, uh, like specific type of um brooches in my box over there. Rusty, thank you. But not right in front of me here. Um yeah these ones are mainly I have dress clips. Let me see if I have anything cool I can pull out and show you. That I haven't shown. I mean, there's different people here that are. Oh. Eh. No, I showed those curls. Okay, I'm going to put these away. I have a bunch of flowers there. I'm going to put them away, though. Um, I'll put those together another time. Oops. It's really full, that box. I'm trying to keep them organized without dropping things here. In this box. This is really cute. Look at this. This is a hide a secret hideaway box. There's cats on there. You see a carved cat and then a knot, and then you, you see that. This is a secret box that you can open and stick something in there. It's wood, like a cherry wood. Not that you can tell what it is by smelling it. I don't know why I just smelled it. But this is adorable. It has a heart on the bottom. And it is like four inches, I believe, is my guess by looking at it. No, I'm completely off. It's almost three. <laughs> if anybody wants a little cat box, I'll, I'll sell it for 15 if anybody's interested in a little secret cat box. A little secret box to keep things in. You see the, on the top, like where it slides out. And it's cute. 
slides in that area right there. Slide it back in. It's a nice little, little box. Like there. That's a little heart. Do I even need dragons? Probably not rain not at rate of top of my head. I can't think of dragons. Let me look on my what's hanging behind me. Um in front of me. I mean I have a griffin, a big griffin. It's not a dragon, or is that a gorgoy? It's a griffin. I have a big griffin. It's not a dragon though. <laughs> I don't think I have any dragons right now. All right, nobody, no interest in a little kitty cat. I just turn my mouth away. Gina, don't you have one of these? Are you still here? I know you <laughs> showed one of these a long time ago in your video. Maybe you sold it by now, but it's cute. Okay, I'll pass on the cat. Eva wants the cat. Did I get to? <laughs> yeah, Eva wants a lot of things and I can't give her everything since her, her room is piled up with stuff. Not junk. I'm not going to call it junk. Because I don't think any of it's junk. Um, but there's a lot of stuff in her bedroom. It's insane. Let me see. I have... What do I have back here that I want to get rid of? Anything? I don't know, guys. I was selling red, red rose. <laughs> I tried selling red rose pieces. Um, that's kind of funny. Um, no, I'm not that. I don't know. I have rings, but they're small, and I've tried selling them a number of times, and I haven't. But let me see, because I have different people and different size rings. Let me just show the little, the ones I'm selling that are off and off that. That's, what? No, that's, that's not, I don't want to sell that. All right. Um, I don't know. You know how it is. I have stuff laying all over the place. This thing, not this thing, this one. I don't know where my ring sizer is actually. So here it is. This is a, I'll do this pretty cheap, real cheap actually. It's a size five. It's turquoise and sterling. It has, here's what it looks like. That is a size five. See that? It's nice. It doesn't have any markings on it. It is sterling though. Um, I don't know. I think he's, I heard somebody say he's from the 70s or something. I think it was Gina actually. But it's cool. I think it is. Here's that's not my middle finger, guys. <laughs> it's turquoise and sterling. It's bezel set. You see that? I don't know, if anybody would want this, I would do it for twenty two bucks. I'll put it on that finger. Yeah, I have stuff laying everywhere. I need to get it together a little bit better. It's, I mean, and then I look at it and like, do I want to get rid of it? I'm like, no. But this one I don't wear. I lost my, um, okay, Haley, thank you. Um, I lost my custom made turquoise ring. I don't know where it is. It disappeared. I mean, it didn't disappear. I lost it. I was visiting a friend, and I threw it in my purse when I was leaving, and I think I dropped it in the parking lot of at his house. So I apartment. I don't know. Whatever. It's 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 gone. It's only a material possession. But I was upset because I paid more money for it than I like to pay for things. You know how it is when you get something custom made. You don't get it as cheap. But all right, thank you. I'll put this in your bag. Um. Then I had this other one that is small as well. Or a bag. You don't have a bag yet. But hi. Um, these are small rings, like I'm saying. All right, I sold that already. Or oh, wait, P how? I do have this ring. This is sterling and turquoise as well, but this one is a six. And, it's like a six and a half, I would say, on it, and it's it's sterling. Let me show you where it sizes up. It's turquoise and sterling as well. And I don't see a marking on it. But it is sterling. I tested it. And it's definitely turquoise because I can tell. See, look. So anyways, if anybody wanted this, I would do this one for 20. It's been hanging around a long time. 
and I don't wear it. Hi, hi, Jen. Sunday, hi. So 20 on that little one if anybody wants it. Um, what I mean by little is it's a little stone. It's on overly small size, six, six and a half, actually. But, you know, the piece of turquoise is little is what I meant by that. So that would be 20. And I have a very tiny malachite. Like, insanely small. I'll show it. Okay, I'm going to pass on this. This is really, I like the little malachite. No, I think it's adorable. But look how little it is. Let me go little. This is a five and a half. Look how tiny that is. Elena, you want that one? Okay, it's nice. Thank you. Let me put Haley's in the bag before I get the stuff mixed up, and then I'm having to go back and watch. Thank you. Like, Gina went back and looked for me. It was really nice. Thank you. So, Elena, this turquoise. Let me show you guys the little malachite. It's so small. I might give it. It's too big for Eva's fingers, but if I don't sew it, I might just give it to her to wear on this finger or something. It's very tiny. Um, turquoise. It's an Elena K. All right, I'll put it in this bag. Thank you. All right. So it's it's this. It's teeny tiny like stone. It's five and a half. It's on look. <laughs> Is that not tiny? I mean, I've been when I get small stuff like this, if it fit this might actually I might be able to do this soon. Where the soon when I get something really small, like a little like amber or anything like anything, I give it to Eva for her collection of jewelry so she has which i never had a variety of jewelry as a child i lucky i had somewhere to sleep no i'm joking um but seriously i want her to have to know what it looks like because then she doesn't have to go crazy if she wants to do something with it so this one's really little i don't know if anybody wanted it i would sell it for um it is malachite clearly it is sterling it's not sterling it's tiny it's a good pinky or fingertip ring for somebody if it you know if, depending on the size of your ring, your finger, I know some like some people wear that on their finger. I can, but this is even too small for me. And I do wear small jewelry, as you see. I, I like it, but this is very tiny, so it's like a tip ring. It's like five and a half. But if anybody wanted it, I would sell it for. I do it for eighteen. It's really cute, actually. I haven't started even on rings. It's mainly necklaces. She loses rings in the bathroom at school. And that's why she'll take them off to wash her hands. And it's happened like a number of times. And like, I, I lost my ring. So who's first? Let me see. One second. I see Haley first. Okay, Haley. It's nice. Like, I mean, if, it, if she was not losing things, I definitely, I mean, it's not worth much, but you know, I hate her lose things. Okay. Where is... There it is. There's her bag. So this one's 18. Thank you. I've had these rings for months. Um, and I, I, you know, I don't like to, to keep things. Unless I'm keeping it for myself. I try to sell it. All right. Let me see. That's it for the rings, I guess. Because I have no idea if this is real or not. So I'm absolutely not selling that until I figure out. Because I do not want to sell somebody something fake. It looks like I, it's on sterling silver, but it's, it's, it's so straight. I've never seen anything like that. And it's a stern material, but I don't know what it is, so I'll wait on it. All right. It's getting close to the time for me to, re to leave, I guess. Um, let's see if there's any on here that I'll get rid of. This is a humongous vintage, and those are real stones in there, okay? But it's humongous. I mean, I mean, it's big. I don't know. And it's it's like on pot metal, as they call it. It's really lovely, though. Look, I'm not going to sell that one. I need to look at it because I know it's old. I want to take a look at it longer. All right. Um, no. This, I, I, know, I, I don't know what that is. And the other ones are mine. I, like I said, if I don't know what a bracelet is, I don't like this. It makes me nervous. I don't want somebody coming back at me. Hey, sold me something fake. But um, let me show this real quick. <laughs> and some here at it. I think this is, I looked this up. And I believe this is called Soapstone Turquoise. Did I show this to you guys and try selling this? Let me 
<laughs> I have no idea. That's so terrible. But it's cool. I may have shown it in a video. I don't know why it looks yellow over there. It must just be the color of the stone or something. But I don't know. Here's what it looks like, like this stuff on here. I don't know if anybody wanted, I showed it to you guys. Okay, I'm going to skip that. Then. How's that? Since I just tried selling it. Um, give me one minute. I'm going to go in a couple minutes, but hold on a minute. I wanted to show, pull something out of it. Give me a minute. Let me put this away. I'm trying to stay on top of things and not, uh, not mix them up and lose them. Like, I mean, not lose, but get them all messed up. I can't stand that. Trying to stay organized, as I say. Let me pull out a box. And then, I guess I can end it. Let me just see if I can find a thing I want to show you guys, you ladies, gentlemen, if there are any here. Um, I may not even be able to find it. But, oh. This is a fantastic ring. It's cool. Um, all right, Lizzie, goodbye. That necklace. I'll sell it for $15. I believe it's called Turk Soapstone turquoise soap so when i was when i researched it but again i it's a stone i know that but not quite sure and i don't know what the what that is carved in it but here it is um i showed it the other day you may not have been there alina that's true i've beat different people in a day i'm sorry all right you want that alina for 15 okay it's yours thank you I try not to, well, this is an end of the month sale, so I guess I could show anything I showed before and just offer it cheaper. All right. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Irene. I appreciate you. I'll be invoicing you ladies, um, gentlemen. Well, it's all been on ladies today. Um, either tonight or tomorrow morning, but thank you. Yeah, this is a cool necklace. Like I said, I think it's called soap stone, but don't quote me on that. <laughs> um, let me see if I have anything else before I... Oh, this is cool. This is a Coro by Cats, but he's, his ears broke off. I hate some stuff. It's broken. Uh, so I got some... Probably... I don't know about that. This is opal, but I eat in topaz. But, and then the opal makes me nervous. I know that's I get nervous selling things. I'm not sure. All right. I guess I should end it. Huh? it it's a nice color. It's a nice necklace. I did show some little purses. If anybody goes through and sees anything I did show that they liked, you may contact me and I will sell it to you. But um, I should probably end it because I do have to pick my daughter up and leave at 2.30. So and I'm getting close to that. But thank you for coming, everybody. I appreciate I appreciate your support um moral financial whatever kind i really do appreciate it um i hope everybody has a good day and i'll be back around at some point um some kind of video i'm trying to work on making better videos but i i feel like i'm in some type of like don't know what to make for videos you know what i mean it's hard sometimes thank you becky okay yes i can let me show that before i go you're welcome. You're welcome, Haley. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. This is this is it. This big one. It's like 80 inches. Let me put it on the neck. On the neck. I'll show you. How about I show it to you like this? Thank you, Mary Ray. Thanks, Ducky. You have a good day, too. And you too, Jen. Sunday, that is Sunday Bobbles. All right, um, this is it. It's it's strung on. It's knotted in between. It's strung. You too, Tanya. Thank you. It's fantastic. And I started it a lot higher last time because I knew it was worth. But it's you know it's Chinese turquoise, which not, but it's Chinese turquoise because they've been mining longer than us. They've been mining thousands of years. Um, but it's fantastic, I think. 
Oh, thank you. I, I've been trying. I, I just feel like I'm in a flux. I, I don't know where I belong in my personal life and on here on YouTube. So I don't know what I'm doing all the time with the videos as well, I feel like. But this is it. Is that good, Alina? I should probably get off of here. So um, my algorithm. But here, it's nice. It's a nice, nice necklace. I have it online. I have some likes on it. I haven't placed much higher, but I haven't um, sold it yet. It's it's something. It's it's lovely though. I mean, you can. It's not real heavy. It's like six ounces, like I said. Okay, guys, Elena, if you like it, email me. I could send you more pictures. You want it for a hundred? I mean, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. It's well worth that. I don't know if you researched it, but when you do, you'll see that. I'll take it off of Mercari. It's yours for a hundred. I said to trying to pour some things out. Thank you. And have a good day, everybody. Thank you. I may be back tomorrow. Who knows? <laughs> I may pop up. I won't have my daughter. I try not to pop up when anybody else is on, though, honestly. But who knows? I may be back tomorrow. All right. <laughs> have a good night, everybody. Thank you. And thank you, Alina. This is lovely. At least you see it in person. Have a good day. Thank you.